Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. So we are back here. Um, man, there she goes. Working her way down the mountain. Carrying 300 units of iron. <laughs> uh, she's killing us. Well, all right, let's see what we can do here, people. We ended the stream earlier with the following goals. Number one, get out of bankruptcy. That's that, that small goal. Um, that's, uh, and then pay off the loan that we didn't even know we had. We shouldn't have had a loan. We should have paid that off earlier today. Um, and, um, That's uh, that's all it's going on. Uh, this is this is this is going to be a struggle. Well, you know this. The, the title says we were supposed to buy eight trains. Yeah, <laughs> let's start checking your math there. There's only six lines here, Buckaroo. Yeah, no, there's only six lines. I don't know how we made that. How we made that that fiasco. I mean, that's that is uh, that is not as intended. Hey, thanks for joining again. Thanks for coming back tonight. Yeah, we are. We are. Uh, it's it's uh, we got to figure out what we got to do. Um, I mean, we're not having real performance issues. I mean, we're not doing 80. No, we're not. But we are picking 300 up and delivering it. The problem is we're making just enough to cover line costs, which means we're not. Uh, we're not making it. No, we're not. I mean, covering line cost is is a, not a bad thing. Yeah, like we can't fix the track here. I mean, not that we even could. I mean, what what is there to fix? You know, we spent two days laying this track out. I mean, there may be some small roller coasters, but I mean, the problem is a lot of them could just be visual, and we gotta we gotta figure that out. I mean, if we had the loan paid off, you know, we could be we could be hitting something right there. But see, then we slam back up. You know, the cycles are killing us. I mean, we've got everything worked out. All the trains would be running. You know. But like that right there, that's a hiccup. That's a bit of a roller coaster. Yeah, but that's not our problem, though. Our problem is, well, it's part of it. It's part of our turns. We got to get our turns up, you know. It's um, um, what do we have going on here? There's a typo in the title of the string. You're a goober. Oh, oh man. Yeah, I know. It's it's happening all the time. I mean, the route out here in Minneapolis is beautiful. This isn't Minneapolis. It's Minnesota. Yeah, the route in Minnesota is beautiful. It's a beautiful run. <laughs> We've done a great job with it. We've got everything set up. Well, how many trains do you think you can handle out here? We can handle 12 easily. If not more. The problem is for this route, the, chains, the trains each consist is costing us about 18 mil. And... You know, when we had the when you had the money in the bank to early at the start of this you know this last session, we could have bought three of them. And we slacked off a little bit and while well, we held off to be conservative. And then, you know, the continuing, you know, eating away uh, really slammed into us. And you know, there's a fear that this might be a midnight train problem. And that we're going to have to just run the midnight train and just start doing some little, you know, micro here, micro there. You know. I mean, you made 4.2. Yeah. Yep. And see, the more this runs, the more it is making a couple bucks. 
but yeah, it's we've we've set up the infrastructure to run all six lines to all six mines, and it's the overhead cost is eating us. Hey, uh, what's that phrase? Uh, dream big, go home. Yeah, yeah, you 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 shut up with that. Dream big, go home. Uh, we got plenty of iron here, so every ship should be full of iron. And well, let's check the line. So, yeah, we've got over half on the line. And the line is... How's it doing? Oh, the line is just killing. I mean, here's a here's the first year where they all made it into dock. And, you know... I mean, it's just a killing. As all these ships start coming in with their loads... You know, they're going to make... How much are they making per run? Well, let's see. They bring in... You know, 1.7, and their cost each year is just, you know, well, that's a bit. See, we fixed this problem. It's always going to be full loads. One, two, three, every five years with a cost of, I don't know, here you go, 150. So our costs are 750, and you're going to bring it. So we're making a million per boat. So every one of these boats going up and down the Mississippi is making us a million dollars. Um, that's every five years. That's only two hundred thousand. That's a yeah, two hundred thousand a year. And there's plenty of gaps along here. I mean, we could put more. Yeah, more in here. Yeah, well, here's what I'm thinking because, like, I loaded tonight's episode up for us to give it a shot and see what our options are. Because the ferry thing, I'll admit, that was a last minute. That was a last minute floop. A floop. Oh, it was a floop de doop, all right. It was it was just, you know, we were sitting here and you know, the conversation was you know, hey, why don't we uh bring stuff down, you know? And we were trying to figure out how the train lines were going to run. Well, we know the train lines going to how it's going to run right now. We just ran it. Because we took here's Johnsonville, here's Milwaukee. Okay, so here's the Milwaukee, um, these Milwaukee tools, here's the train yard. You know, we bought the freight train, she pulled out, she got onto the freight line, and she drove herself all the way out there. And then what? Well, then she came back with, uh, I mean, she got out there, so that means she can get back. I mean, well, it might have to add one little spur of track. Well, you can't add it if you're not profitable. Yeah, that is right. That is a that is a tough call. Well, how's the midnight train help you? Well, the midnight train helps us because, you know, we start doing some real aggressive, you know, negative line looking around. Like here's Huntsville, Nashville. You know, we start doing um you know, what's going on here? You know, why is she waiting? See, and sadly, we don't have a timer to know how long she's been waiting. But we do have this. See, this tells us something broke down here a long time ago. And here it is. It's all the way up here. See, this broke. Passenger service still going. This guy can't move. So... We found the problem in two seconds. So when we were, whatever we did, well, whatever we did when we opened up the map and brought this in, that's where we messed it up. Um, so you're saying your line revenue's down? Our line revenue would have to be down. And yeah, it's down. So, how are we going to fix it? Well, we're going to go back down here, and we're going to try and unjam it. Well, how are you going to unjam this? That's a darn good question there. But we know we can delete. So you're going to delete cars off of this? Well, if I delete some cars off of 9505, 
let's say we take one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Let's say we take ten cars off of her. Where are you going to put them? That's a good point. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at that, we clear the point. She starts moving. Uh, why is she not moving? You gotta get one more off there. Ouch. Yep. You gotta get one more off. Okay, why do we not have a good signal here? Because that one's moving. Okay. So. And this is freight. Yes, it is. So now. We can't go down with it. Because this, there's the passenger lines going down. Yeah, we're limited to what we can move here. We are really limited. Hey, to everybody that joined in, thanks for joining in tonight. I uh, I greatly appreciate it. I really do. Um, feel free to ask any questions in chat. Come up with names for trains or or uh, or stations. Uh, look, she's moving. Okay, so she got out of town. Yep. But we are, once again, we've jammed this junction up too much. Well, how is that, how did that train get so long through there all that time? You know, um, lucky. Um, we've added, we keep pushing. That's the thing. I mean, every time we come through here and we go, hey, this station could use two more trains. And we go, and, you know, clone it on the line or do something else, um, you know, it adds up. And there's just, there's just no easy way around it except to find it when it happens and try and fix it. This is one of the huge, huge reasons why, especially on a map this complicated, do we, oh, we got the flag. You know, on a map this complicated, why you have to have passengers and freight separated because, you know, passenger trains, heavy, okay, don't, you know, they're heavy trains, the passenger cars are heavy, it's the same trains, you know, until you move into the, you know, the, uh, where are we going? We're going to the sawmill, the sawmill and woodworks, yes, we're going off to the left up here. See, we fixed the junction down here. Yeah, like a week or two ago. Yeah, right before we... I mean, we moved from here to Chicago. Yeah, see, we've got one of these going on. We might have to just put the same thing up there to deal with the... Um, what is it that's going over there? It's... it's um, yeah, what is back there? Is it... Uh, oh, oh, it's the... Uh, what is it? You just, you know it. It's the, um, uh, it's the, it's the distillery. It's the, uh, Jack Daniels distillery. That's what's back there. Is it? Let's go back up and check it out. Yeah, it's the Jack Daniels distillery up here. This thing is just freaking. See, we're not getting enough trains in here. Maybe because you had everything broken, backed up, buddy. Yeah, well, you know, whatever. But that's part of the thing here. You know, we built this um, for a single train. And now we're slamming city after city in here. 
and we gotta make adjustments. Well, why don't we just double track everywhere? Why don't you shut your mouth? We don't do that. Really? Do we have this written down anywhere? Why, well, yes, we do. It's the rules. Single track. Passenger and freight trains are on separate tracks. Well, what if they run side by side? That's not single track. That's passenger trains go down one way, freight goes down the other. Sometimes they parallel each other. You know, that's just that's just cheap building. It's good good cost work for us. Um, did this train get upgraded? No, no, it didn't. Nothing down here got upgraded past two six O's. They so we have uh, we're gonna have we have Russian GVs in here, and we have two six O's. We don't have anything newer than that, and we've got all 50k uh, uh, freight cars. We don't have any 80k freight cars operating out of uh, Huntsville. So between Huntsville and Memphis, oh man, that means even the lines from Huntsville that go down to Nash, uh, down to New Orleans, yep, all the way through Alabama, none of them got upgraded because we moved from here to Chicago, and then in Chicago, uh, the 1900s came in. So then we got the 80k box freight freight cars. Uh, nothing down. So this is this will be the last place on the map to get upgraded. Yeah, see, like there she is pulling out of the station, and she's jamming up the track. See, why was she able to get up there? See, she should have held here, and this signal really needs to be moved back to here. You know. That looks cool. And how much money is she bringing in? 146. Is she profitable? No, not really. If this look, if you don't run passengers to all these stations, they won't grow. Is that going to lose the game for us? The map is too big. And the details on the map that we're playing at. You know, you could just go down to medium. Oh, that'd be crazy. I don't go down that far. I mean, I want to play this at 4K. Well, the problem is the streaming software keeping up with the demand of that. Well, I mean, you could lower our bit rate now. I mean, we could try. There's a lot of setting changes we can make. But a lot of them you can't make midstream. Well, why don't you change some of those settings? Well, because here's what happens. You know, we get distracted and we forget to do it. Well, let's lower the bit rate down. Let's see if the game even comes back from this. You're saying the game won't No, the stream might have actually just crashed. Uh, we won't know until a little later. Okay, now what about terrain textures? Let's take that down. And let's see if we get another lagger. I mean, we just have to ride through it. Cap your in-game frame rate. Um, I don't think we can go down to uh, 30 frames a second. I mean, we'll get there eventually. There's, there will be a time where we're in the teens. That's how far we're playing this map in this game. We've done it on two series now. You know, we we just we push it and. You know, we just keep loading more and more on the map. How big is the map right now? Uh, it's three quarters of a gigabyte. That's... 
that's crazy. Yes, it is. Okay, apply. Okay, now let's see. Can we do a... Uh, let's stop the autosave. Every 60 minutes. Um, not sure what difference it'll make on the stream side. Won't know until I get a chance to watch today's stream later. Or rather ask somebody who can see better than me to watch it. There should be no hang-ups down here. It's just a matter of there's no space. You know. I mean, this isn't a hang-up. This is just, there's no space. You know. I mean, hey, look, there's space in here. More trains can come in here. Yeah, the smaller ones. But, you know, how much do we play games with the signals you know we've got these delivery trains running by here that are you know a 70 would be a 100 maybe a 140 later and you got these behemoths that are 203s we're waiting to move them into 300s yeah and then later they're going to be fours i know i know it's crazy i mean look how much is backed up in here you know and the cities are still growing and demanding more that's why if you play a game like this in the modern era, you could just do trucks, you know, and then you got, you know, 500, 1,000 trucks on the road. They can never jam each other up. I mean, you can have a traffic jam. Yeah, but they'll work it out. Doop, 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 doop. They'll just move real slow, you know. The real volume is in the trains. Well, what are you going to do here? Well, until this guy can move up, he's stuck. Okay, but where is this guy going? He can't go anywhere because of this guy. How many guys are on that route? Just the one? Well, he's, he's constantly jamming up the whole system here. See, now she's going to pull forward. We got to get that Jack Daniels off this line. I mean, there's no if, ends, or but about it. We gotta get the Jack Daniels. Well, that one's going the Jack Daniels right now, is it not? Grab the train, man. Yeah, she's going to Jack Daniels. She's taking food deliveries to Dyersburg. To Dyersburg? Wait, what? Yeah, she's going to Dyersburg with food. Well, I mean, holy cow. Yeah. I mean, we're feeding, we're feeding everybody around here. You know, we're feeding Huntsville, Dyersburg, Memphis. Holy cow. Yeah. I mean, just all you got to do is look at the platform. This seems very circuitous here. But there's a lot of cleanup work that could be done on this. And I guess there could. But that's not how it was built, you know. We had a good size stretch of frat, flat, frat? Is this a frat house track? We had a good size stretch of flat track. And we had to, you know, get in here smoothly. Decisions were made. And again, we had to fit in between the lake somehow. I mean, yes, we could take this piece here, bring it over and cut a little bit off the track. this Memphis Memphis port so that means this is hauling to the port and then it's being taken by a ship across the Mississippi River to um, what Carruthersville yeah probably Carruthersville so yeah there's a lot of stuff going on down here. well there's a lot of food sitting here that shouldn't be here. I mean, that's two, 
there's five, six, seven deliveries that aren't being made because the trains aren't getting back here fast enough. Yeah, we gotta figure out how to. Where does this go? Comes back here. I mean, holy cow! Yeah, this is a this is a complicated network here. There's a lot. There's a lot going on right here. And this is just freaking Huntsville. It's not even a major city. I mean, you know, I come back here to look at this place and it's like, what's going on? I don't, I don't know. We gotta look around the map. We gotta figure it out. It's, you know, okay, where's she going? She's going to the cement factory. Okay, so that means she should come up here and dip down. Yeah, this is, uh, who is this? Is this Cousin Jed? This has got to be Cousin Jed, or... There, she's going to change lanes to the left. No. Why not? Maybe that's the train coming out. Where is... Who goes down there? Who go boss? We go up here. Man, this is... This brick factory is... Yeah. It's, it's slammed with trains. <laughs> it's... Stuff gets complicated. Yeah, but it looks cool. What are we bringing in? 174 stone. Seeing we never make it above... Well, we can't make it above 50. What do these make? Like three mil a stop or something? It's been a long time since we looked at it. 1.5. The factory is smoking. Yep. This is a busy place. And that's going to take it over to the pier. This train's never been upgraded, so it's still struggling to go through. There's four trains on that line. Holy cow. Yeah. Oh, okay, now you go through. No, this is the overpass. We dipped under this to get in, so now we're, we're going over to get out. All right. That is a that is a busy piece of track there. Yeah, it is. And that's just that's just Aunt Betty. And the other three are totally emptying out this quarry non-stop. Been doing it since 1850, our very first episode. To everybody who's tuned in tonight, thank you very much for joining us. We're uh, we're trying to get out of bankruptcy. You know, we keep dipping down five, seven, and then we're back up. And it's it's just we had a traffic jam up here that we cleared out. Um, that resulted in a long number of years of no revenue coming in from a couple of lines of service. But I mean, we never noticed. You know, the, the map is just too big. It's impossible to notice. So we've had to do a Louisville marble and granite. Let's see what's going on down. Uh, she's empty. And she's blocking the track. And where is she trying to go? Well... This one's waiting. This is the Indianapolis switchyard. Yeah, what the hell's going on up here in Indianapolis?
this was going fine for the longest time. Um, yeah, what the hell is going on? Oh, did we not spend enough time here after we... No, that's passenger. We, we separated and broke apart. She's blocking the junction. Damn it. See, for this piece here, there's like so... Um, yeah, but see, you don't have the money to fix it. Well, here's how we're going to have to fix it. She's got to lose two wagons. up and then 7532 can go forward. We do not double track. You know, if we can make the siding big enough on the other side, we'll leave that little piece right there. You know, it's, it's just, it's, it's how we're playing the game. Playing the game as very hard difficulty as we can. Well, how can a siding not have enough space to hold the train? Well, I mean, there's several factors. I mean, right off the bat, I'll throw out the blind card. You know, there's that. Number two, these sidings grow over time. And, you know, we could add a second train somewhere on the run and not realize its impact until you know somewhere later you know and it's it's just uh that's why we run the night trains when we do because with the night trains i put on the asthma music you know we get a couple of some really chill asthma stuff we get some sound effects um you know we have a bit of a fun time with it and then, you know, things happen because, they're, you know, the volume that we're running at. Because it's not really a building time, it's more riding the trains. You know, I call it ride the midnight train. You know. And it increases the chances of a problem popping up. Because for most of the time, you know, we're very rarely paused. I don't like to totally pause the game. Uh, but, you know, when we're at regular speed and then if we're like, like if I'm working on a piece of track and it's going to cause, you know, like I, it has to be paused or the trains are just going to mess us up. Well, then we pause. Um, you know, if we're like this line desperately needs an upgrade. You know, if we're working on um, a, a something around a city and if I delete a stretch of uh, road and if the game's playing the city just throws something back down you know where we just might have spent a million dollars to destroy a street the city slams one down on top of us and it's cost us another half million to take it out again that's when we pause but otherwise I mean the game's never paused it's always running at regular or if we're on a train ride, then I call it train speed. You know. When we're doing the midnight train, lots of times that's that's on, you know, fast speed. This line is just begging for a train upgrade. Well, why don't you do it? Because we can't afford it. We don't have any money for it. You know, we're trying to get out of bankruptcy. You know, if we came in here and... Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, look at that! Spend this money carefully, dude. We do not have a lot of it. Is there anywhere we can do something right now 
to fix things. Well, can you bring this back some? Uh, not really. Yeah, I mean, because we have to get off here and then go go down here into the into the yard. This stretch of track is actually does nothing, doesn't it? Yeah, it just ends up here. Oh, that's really smart, paying for track that goes nowhere. I mean, we paid to install it, and we're paying maintenance on it every day. Good job. Um, yeah, at one point, we had four pieces of track out here. But you were just a big spender. Can we go back any? Um, I mean, we could... But the bulk of this track is all the same trains. Let's let's do it here then. Just extend it. Track, standard track. I mean, here's the problem. Four grand, and, and that whole issue we just had here goes away. I mean, it's that cheap of a fix. Okay, and what about up in Huntsville? Uh, Huntsville's down here. Uh, da, da. That's Effingham. You gotta go down here to get to Huntsville. Yeah, we gotta cross the Ohio River. This map is huge. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, man. Yeah, maybe at Murfreesboro. Um, well, here's the problem. See, that signal up there needs to come back here. One way. Yes. All right, put it here so they don't jam each other up. Uh, that, that was a moron move. Better, good thing we have the money to fix it. I know, that is that is crazy that we could have just broke the game. Uh, yeah, anywhere else. Um, 300,000 is not enough to fix this. Yeah, how are you going to fix it? You can't get under. You know, if we... We can't go under here. But... And that's not enough time for you to slope under. But you got to come back that way. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of messed up stuff um, who comes down here? Well, they go to this really gorgeous farm that we built. Which we haven't been back at since we built it. That's... Uh, okay. That's this track here. Yeah, they're going directly to Johnsonville. Yes, they are. Um, that's passenger. So even if you like ran this over, no one comes back here. That's why that's there. That was so the passenger trains, so the freight trains could get to the factory. You know, don't you remember what you did here? This, it was, it, w it could have been months ago. This was, this was so long. Yeah, well, let's, let's see if we can even put some track in. Bring us down four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. 
What does it care? Try setting it again. One, two, three, four. Like, what does it care what we're doing down here? Well, I mean, you have plenty of space to ramp back up. Okay. And what else? Well, then we'd have to come through and dredge it, delete these lines. Yeah, you're not doing it with 382,000. I could give ourselves another one. Oh man, you are, that is like risking our financial life if we touch that money. Um, you get a couple mil in the bank before we talk about touching this. Okay. Man, I can't believe it. There you go, a couple mil in the bank. Bastard. I know. Um, you can't do a bridge where there's a siding like that. No, we're going to have to put it right here. Come right across and go right through there. You better get, get, get us up to five mil. We were so close. I always thought we were going to make it. We're freaking nuts thinking. Yeah. We could do... Turn this into a divot. We'll clear all these out. And we'll bring the... They'll bring the, uh, the food train right to here. And then straight across. Really? Yep, we're going to have to. These things are just too big. See, now she's going. She's going back there. What are you going to do about her? Well, I mean, here's the thing. They're both holding up everything. Is there no way to, like, get her out of there quicker? Um, you could branch her off here and let her come up here. Then this way she's got uh, a bit of a loop. Okay, I mean, I could see doing that. Well, what happened? See, again, here's the thing there's nothing over here. Yeah, well, there's this line back here. Well, where did that crop train come from? Is it? It's the front crop train. Is that this one? Jack Daniels three crops in. Brown's farm. Where's Brown's farm? Is this Brown's farm? No, this is Murphy's farm. Where is? Just, just go to Brown's farm. Here's Brown's farm. Okay. Where is this? Well, first off, it's in a place that's not detailed. Slacker. Detail up your trains. To everyone who's joined us, thanks for joining in tonight. We're trying to... We're trying to get out of going bankrupt. Oh, dude, this is all the way freaking in Alabama. Huntsville's in Alabama. I mean, it's just... You're heading towards, you're outside of Birmingham. Well, I mean, we're not outside of Birmingham. It's all the way down here. Um, that's Memphis. Now, where is this farm? Um, I mean, she's down here. Yep. And then she comes down here. Then what? Well, she's on the freight side. So she's over here. 
She's on the left side track. She comes down here. And then... So... She's coming around... She's coming around Huntsville. What is going on here? That's passenger service. How is that train getting in here? Light up the line, I'll tell you. Here it is. All right, she comes in. She comes down here. Okay. What train is this? Save this so we don't lose it. What train is this? This is food to Memphis. Okay, so she comes over here. All right, now she's over here. Yeah, where is that line going to Lynchburg? That's all the way back here. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, for her to get onto that line, she, she's on the wrong way on the wrong side of town. We'd have to get her to the right side of Huntsville. There ain't nothing over here. Well, this is the quarry trains. These are freight lines only. There's no passenger service that goes this way. You sure? I'll bet you that's a passenger line right there. No, that can't be. Here comes a train. Yeah, it's Cousin Ellie. See, all of this is freight. There's no passenger service from Huntsville down into the rest of Alabama? Uh, no, Buckaroo, there isn't. Holy cow. Um, it probably is. It just comes around this way. I'm sure there's service going down there. Um, no, there's not. We are not connected. They're connected through the ferry in Memphis. That's it. If you want to go to New Orleans, you take the train from Huntsville over to Memphis and you get on the ferry. There's the ferry right there. See? It should take you down. It should take you to Carothersville or she'll take you down to New Orleans. Okay. So. Yeah, this is just freight service. She comes under the passenger's line. Well, what passenger trains are on this then? Here's the train. It's the Huntsville Memphis Limited. Where does it go? It goes from Huntsville to Memphis. Huntsville to Memphis Limited. Yeah. Where is the, oh I rem, oh okay I know where this farm is, it's in between the two tunnels. Here's the first tunnel to get into the valley, and then here's the second tunnel to get into Memphis and Dyersburg. All this stuff, and this stuff is jammed up. Yes, it is. See, this piece isn't big enough. Um, damn. Yeah, and now anybody coming up can't get out. Uh, dude, are you fixing the world here? I mean, I'm trying not to. I'm just saying. You better be careful what you're building here. Don't know what you're building. No, I don't. But let's get us let's get us off the, the track here. clean some congestion up in here. 
he's going to New Orleans. Look, he got 15 mil in the bank. 20 mil now. We're way clear out of bankruptcy. Okay, well, let's work on that crops line. This Brown's farm line. There is... Dude, we're in Chicago. We're not even in Chicago. We're, we're in Chicago. We're up in Minnesota. Um, I hear you. You still want to fix this? Yeah, we have to. I mean, it, it jammed everything up over here. We, we got to do it. All right. I mean, if you got it, we got more than enough money to pay for it. All right. Let's. All right. We need a ditch. All right. Bring out the take all my money tools. Make it a lot smaller. We need to uh, put a piece of track in. That's four down. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, now. Uh, we doing trestle bridges? Oh yeah, we're doing trestle bridges. Because that's all the hot new stuff. Anybody in chat have a color choice? Or a bridge type choice? I'm open to suggestions. We have quite a number of options. We've got ye olde. Uh, we'll have to play to make that look better. But we could do that. We could certainly do that. We've got yellow. We've got... Huntsville Hunter Green. We are in the Huntsville area. We've got Old Rusty. We've got um, Bloomington, Minnesota Blue. We've got the White Rusty Powder White look. Which, I mean, I call it white, but is it a gunmetal gray? or like it's, it's, it's just a very odd... And then we've got Modern. That in emergencies, modern no guardrails or no pillars. Any suggestions from chat? I'm open to it. We appear to have solved our bankruptcy crisis. So we're going to just clean something else up while we're here. Because again, we discovered it. Let's fix it. Same thing there. Try it again. And we're doing old rusty. I mean, we can, unless somebody gives me another suggestion. These are sort of my default slash go tos. Come on. There you go. Where'd it go? There you go. Alright, now. Do the repairs. Clean the track up. Go back to old standard. Standard track. Okay. See, that'll do the whole bridge. We don't want that. See, that's the problem with this. It requires several fine cuts. But we do the fine cuts and we get a real nice look out of it at the end. You know, you can actually get a feel for when the bridge kicks in. Yeah, I'd like to do more, you know, bridge abutments, but it, uh, you know, it sort, it sort of hits my, 
hits my acuity limit. Alright, we need to replace the signal you took out. Alright, now over here. Okay, now, we got to come out of this. It's a pretty big slope there. You know, it's actually level to over there. It's very little height change. That is so weird. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, very unexpected. All right. Just touch. There you go. Just a light touch. Okay. Signal here. Signal. Signal. There you go. Alright. Down here. Give me a horn. Each direction. Alright. Now we gotta get up to there. Track, track. Grab the track. There it is. Too much slope. Is anybody on the track? Is anybody coming this way? No, they're not. They're leaving. Okay, so we can do we can do some edits over here. Let's get this thing out of here. straight down to here. She's never going to go faster. Why are you looking at the speeds? I'm just... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not staring at the speeds. I'm just... I'm being a cautious candy dancer. Uh, as Crowbar reminded you earlier today, Gandhi dancers really just did what they were told. They weren't they weren't the engineers laying the track. I hear you. Alright. Signals. Alright. Much better. Now let's see who comes through here. Oh yeah, that other one. Where is she? Um, yeah, we gotta wait for her to come through here so we can grab her. Her brown's far and green. She should be easy to spot. She's carrying a ton of roach, a ton of uh, crops. Well, how did she get over here? 
Did she do something weird around the steel? Around the? Did she come over here? It's weird. Where is she? I don't know. We can go back to the farm and look for her from there. Yeah, but we should be able. Okay, here's here's the tunnel. So if she comes up here. How many trains are on this line? Just the one. Okay. Is she just... She's going to the farm. Yes, she is. And now she's on two-way track. Okay, we're going to give her an upgrade. She's a... She's a 260 or 280. Why do I keep saying 260? She's got 29 cars on her. What's her numbers? Put it in chat because you'll never remember it. Okay, her numbers are 59, 42, 203. Okay. Before she hits the station, let's give her an upgrade. So. She definitely has a long haul on her. So we're gonna, she's an L and N. Yeah. So for color schemes, we're going with the red, going with the 10 wheeler. Um, holy cow, she did have, yeah, she had a, she had a 280. That's how, how old she, the train is. Holy cow. Yeah. Hey, you have not been... <laughs> you did not upgrade. All these upgrades came into play when, when we moved up to Chicago. How did we miss this train? Because we weren't in here. Okay, well, this is doing 284 and 70. Two eight four and seventy, so a two six zero is an upgrade. Yeah, she's currently paying one twenty eight, which is a one ninety and fifty. I mean, hell, man, she would have been almost. She would have been more around well, fifty thousand. These things, these are, these are definitely specialty trains. Yeah. All right. So, break out the red. got 203 for capacity. Cargo. Gondolas. Okay. So we've got 80, 80, and 80. These are 12s for 20. 8s for 10s. Um... That makes those 16s for 20s. Yeah, it does. And these are 12s for 15s. So these are equivalents. Well, how do you figure? Well, because this is 24 for 30. And this is 24 for 30. So these are the equivalents. Okay. Um, and we want 200. Okay. Now, here's the thing we want to look at. There's, the, where's the caboose? There's the caboose right there. See, she got just a little bit shorter. She got a lot shorter. Let's see how she does. Yeah, because we want to figure out where she's going. Is she going to sit here? Yeah, she's going to sit here for a while. Wow. How long does she sit here for? Quite frankly, she should sit here forever.
Yeah, this is exciting, isn't it? So in today's episode of paint drying, we're going to discuss the benefits of red lead over aluminum epoxies. Why is this farm not spitting out? I don't know, but you're here. Oh man, we're back in the hole. You had to buy a train, didn't you, for 11 million? And you had to spend, what, 10 mil over there upgrading that track? These were necessary improvements to increase the profitability up in Minnesota? No, to so that the rest of the infrastructure under the mountain division is doing work up there. We do not need the entire pillar upon which the mountain division rests to collapse. That's what we've we've worked on. Well, I hope when we get back up here with this train, you can change her train, change her track assignment. Because okay, look, yeah, let's go do it right now. Um, well, first off, don't leave without fixing the station. We want water. cattle over here at their farm, get a water tower. Sand. Yep. Okay, now what? Uh, we need to put some crop fields in here. So let's find, let's find corn. Under paint tools? Yeah, corn. Here it is. Okay, I want uh, brush size large and squares, and we want rows. That's what we want. Uh, you want to make that a little smaller? Yeah, okay. Thank you, weirdo. Remember the thing we have with the rotation? Yes, I remember. It's not giving you what you want. There you go. Now give us some soy. What do we have for field? Nothing. What do we have for wheat? We have wheat. Factory farmer. Okay. Streets. Nope. Nope. Stop. 
clicking in the same place. Stop clicking in the same place. I was thinking this is a Halloween song. It just gives me that sort of vibe. Okay. Now we need... You want the big one, don't you? Put it. I don't know. It'd be very visible if I put it up here. Yeah, but then it doesn't mention. About the loaders. Oh yeah, good point. Forgot about those. Hey, to everybody's joined in in chat. Thanks for joining in. I appreciate it. I really do. Tonight's episode is. Oh my God, we're back in bankruptcy again. Try not to screw up again. Yeah, where do we think they are? Um, here we go. Cole Hopper. Hopper. Yes. Um, brain. All right. There you go. All right. Let's get out of here. Not until she's full. She still ain't moving. She's getting close. She's not close. She's got a long way to go. And you just, you hit the button. So we lost the money we were saving to go fix the track up ahead. <sighs> Why do you remind me after I hit the button? Well, because nobody sitting here expected you to hit the button, crazy thought you knew what you were doing. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's a beautiful sight. It definitely screams farm. Okay, we're getting close. see how much of a difference this makes when we get there. Yeah, well, if you forget to get on the train. See, she's not even full. Yeah, that, that farm definitely needs to pick up its act. Okay, you're at two mil. Slow this puppy down. No, don't, can't slow it down. We gotta get up here. Hey, okay, here's where she goes. Okay. 
Yeah, there's no way to get her back over the line from here. Mm. You sure? I mean, she's right here. Yeah. This is all freight. No, this is passenger. Oh, okay. Well, we could bring her down here. That may be easy to do. We bring her down here, put her on this. Now she's heading this way. And then what? Well, how do you get her over there? I mean, she'd have to cross. Yeah, that would be ugly. And it would be it'd be the exact same problem we just had up at the other end that we just cleared up. Oh uh, yeah, I get you. I get you. Why do we even have this? I'm sure we built this to make a bypass. Cause I mean she's right there. And it is not that far. No, it's not. How are you gonna get her over there? Um, we could bring her back around, come up here, and then what? You're going to go through this? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Nope. See, again, we don't level the world. We're sticking with the geography. So we have suboptimal routes all over the place. You know, it's part of the challenge. You almost bit your lip. Yeah, I know. I know that would have sucked. Um, just let her go, man. Let's just let her go. See, every tunnel is single-tracked. Hard, fast rule. Well, then what about the mountain division? Those are six different lines. There's the front nine and the back nine. They're each separate. There are a lot of trains backed up to get through that tunnel. Yes, there is. That was a squeal. Okay, here she is. What's your big idea? Um, yeah, that's a really good point. I mean, I don't have one. Get it before she gets on here. Well, I mean, she's on here. Yeah. You can have her take this. Um. Oh, that's right. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, move this signal back to here. Get rid of this one. Okay, now make this. Yeah, see, that's too far back. Well, she's right here. Yeah. So, it's not too far back for her. See, you were looking at the passenger track. Yeah, we all know what you were doing. You're a goober. All right, well, then let's, let's get off of, yeah, let's get her out of here. for the descent.
what's the... Okay, now that gets her, that gets her there. Okay, now what? What if we delete this? I think a lot of shit's gonna break. she not come through here? She is. She's going that way through here. Okay, now she comes through here. Now what? Well, she comes over here, she makes her delivery. And now she wants to go home. Well, she can come through here. Uh, no, she can't. Is you, Mr. Shadid. Damn it. Yep, that's what you did. How long is he straight? Not longer than that. And this is more Pink Floyd than it is Transport Fever 2 music, isn't it? Um, hey to everybody that's joined. Thanks so much for joining in. The, uh, I do appreciate your time. Uh, let me know you're here. We are... Well, we're struggling to get out of bankruptcy. We've got... We've got a loan to pay off. Which we're going to do right now. And we've got to come up with a hundred million dollars to finish buying trains. All right, let's see how this looks. Ah, uh, this does not look bad at all. I mean, it looks cool. You know, we 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 took what was a problem junction, made it into a much cooler looking piece of track. right back the other way so it's it's a multi-use piece of track now you know we've got we've gotten more use out of it is anybody going this way now yeah anybody going to Huntsville okay anyone any food that we send to Huntsville or to Memphis or Murfreesboro. Okay. Now, what about the food itself? What are you going to do with it? Well, so we might need to double it up. Mm, what? 
Yeah, we're not. Might need to double up the trains making the food deliveries. Okay, we just we just were down thirty and forty million with an eight and a half million loan. So there's there's no recovery from that. We had to sit here and go find every train and make micro adjustments to survive. Yeah, yeah. And then we, and in the process, you decided to rebuild a junction to make it look cool for about 10 mil. Yeah, about five or six mil. <laughs> Whatever. And then you decided to spend a half million dollars improving the look of a farm. Uh-huh. And then you upgraded the train to that farm for the tune of 11 million. Yeah, yeah, all, all good stuff. It's all crazy stuff. All right, let's see what are our numbers. Let's check our finances. We made more money than we did the other two times the route run. And then of course, because of the fiasco, it didn't run for 20 years. Holy cow, yeah, how do we let it go that long? Okay, here's our numbers. 130, 19, 204. I mean, don't even tell me that's not money well spent. We went from 59, 42, 203. Okay, if you're typing numbers, make sure you type in the real numbers down there. Okay, and then we went to 130, 19, 204. Holy cow. Yeah. Doubled. Oh, you're missing the view. There we go. And we got other trains coming through. That is cool. And we're using the cool grass track. Yeah. Because trains don't come through here that often. You know, only during farm season. You know, when the crops are in. These are crop tracks. Crop tracks? Yeah, these are crop tracks. And then you come out here onto where the regular trains come. This regular track, it's all cleaned up and pretty. This is a good train ride along song. I think a lot of the reggae music on the playlist is very good for train music. Now we're going to go what, behind the brick factory? Yeah. Because, you know, the brick factory doesn't have enough stuff going on with it. We need to add a whole other line of trains going around it. Just to slow things down. They do, they do some crazy stuff. Hey, it's all part of the hard mode. You know, we're playing this game on a very hard difficulty. You know, if we can save track, we do it. If we can, you know, if there's a chance that a train could be crammed onto another line with somebody else, we do it. You know? This is just a cool run. Are there any lines on, on the map that aren't cool? No, I think they're all pretty cool. You know, and as we do work on them over time, they just get cooler and cooler looking. You know, they acquire personality, you see other trains. Now we're at the tunnel. I think you should put another signal up there. way if you can move up you do if you can't you don't just to increase the throughput is it this is not our train our trains went further back damn we lost our train in the tunnel yeah I want to see what the farm looks like coming up to it uh, your train is it's back there on the side it is Brown's farm. She's waiting to go in the tunnel. Well, how long have you been at this now? We've been at this for an hour and a half almost. Do we have money in the bank? Oh yeah, we got money in the bank. We got money in the bank. 
why are we riding this train? Well, because the rule is... Is it on the rules page? Oh yeah, no, it's on the rules page. We always take every vehicle or every line on its maintenance voyage. This thing's been running for 20 years, not making money. Yeah, so we've upgraded the train and we fixed other stuff. So it's, it's, it's... It's its grand reopening maiden voyage. You know, that's waiting for you to make a turn here. Couldn't you have turned any sooner? Well, this whole thing now screams farm. Yeah, I think it was smart to keep the hedgerow look here. Whoa, we might get out of here in two seconds. Oh, you know, because the crops weren't being delivered. Boom, we're out of here. Don't even die. 250? Do, do, I mean, hey, we just, we just, why not? Seriously, why not? Um, can you send the train back to the... If you could send the train back to the farm. Send it back. I don't think she's going to go back. Why is there a signal here? This is the theme from Knight Rider Transport Fever song. Can you go back now? Yes, you can. Okay, you can make it a 250. Yeah. yeah. Why do you do that? We have this. Alright, give me a 250. These are the bigger gondolas? I'm pretty sure they are. Yep, they are. Yeah, you can't tell the difference. 252. And those are expensive cars. Yes, they are. There's the new ones. Waiting to get filled up. What's that do to your numbers now? 179, 17, it's still freaking awesome. Alright. Now you're going to screw up the intersections? That's a good point. We're going to have to watch her and make sure. at full speed. We're at full speed. Alright, through the tunnel we go. We should be able to size up the junctions. The junctions are huge. They're they're holding they're holding like two trains at a time. Alright, well all we gotta do is just measure it as it goes by and then we can be done here. We shouldn't even be here. We're in Chicago. We're not in Chicago. We're on we're on the big lake iron. The big lake Kichigumi. I know, but we're here to fix a bankruptcy problem. And that problem put us down here in Huntsville. Alright, give us an aerial drone shot. That thing looks beautiful. May all our trains be that big. Or bigger. Let's see how she does on speed.
Uh, oh, this is awesome. Some of this track has been here for 30 years. You know, we haven't, uh, we've added to it, but what do you mean you added to it? We've done major rewrites around here, like this right here and that over there. Yeah, but that's only when stuff happens. Well, I mean, if nothing's happening, why would we be here? No, but I'm saying, like, it's not, uh, you know, I have seen people with this, okay, let's scrap everything and do it all from scratch. I mean, we, we don't, we don't do that. We've, you know, we've tried to make do with what works and. Um. We just walk in signals here. I think we need another signal up here. I like right here. Why are we going so through? The speed limit here is eighty. Let's drive through our cool brand new intersection slash junction. I don't know why you keep saying one more time. I mean, well, we can buy one more train in the Chicago, up and uh, put it up in Minneapolis, St. Paul. You know, why does the screenshot say eight? I, again, you know, everybody knows why. This is way cooler. And like I said, relatively flat. You know, we didn't even have to tell it. It did not offer us a tunnel at all. Yeah, that is pretty interesting. Even when we put the first piece down, it didn't offer us a tunnel. platforms one why did you do it this way oh because it wouldn't fit yeah everybody is going that way okay so now you fork off here yet yeah, this should not be like this this is This guy goes back that way. That's a good point.
Okay, this is messed up. Where is he going? He's gone to Lynchburg to pick up. And then he delivers to Nashville. He delivers to Nashville. Yeah, all the way up here. Okay, so when he comes back, where is he going? Well, good point. You see, he should be getting over here and riding this back. Why isn't he? <laughs> and there's a lot of other stuff that's taking this route. that flat now. Bring it down in here. 3 options of which to leave. You can go out that way to Murfreesboro and up to Nashville. Go through here. I think this guy right here is taking the return. But this is a way busier station than we gave it credit for. Yeah, I think when we designed that track, everybody, the one train was just stopping there. We had five different train routes that are crossing the freight lines up there and really messing it up. looks cooler. What is this guy running? He's running. What is he running? He's running a 260. How's he doing for profit? And he's profitable. Right, what's his line numbers? 188 and 13. change them, aren't you? I feel compelled to. Gotta give them new cars? Yeah, I feel compelled to. How about giving them the right paint job?
you feel compelled to push him to 250? Yeah, I kind of did. Talk about timing. And he's left a lot on the platform. little farm community out here. See, if we were building this out, you know, that'd be like, you know, did something just run across the road? I think it did. It's not road, it's track. Yeah, okay. Did something just run across the track? By the way, our, uh, our issues with the steam, with the with the stream, have certainly died. Yeah. Yes, they have. Are we going to be able to open up here? certainly be shorter. Is anything broke? No, it's just that it could be shorter. Uh, if it ain't broke, we ain't fixing it. Alright, let's see what our numbers change to. Oh man, that is drastic. Huge increase in, in rate, half the frequency. Let's see what our profit numbers are. Okay, we made 2.8 at our previous runs. Oh yeah, big, big, big win here. I'd be feel happier if we had a better slope coming out of the station. Can't be helped. This is much cleaner. I didn't, again, I didn't know we had so many trains going through this one, you know, this one flip, because this was a ground level crossing going over everything. Well, it didn't go over everything. The passenger service went underneath it. Yes, yeah, so we didn't have a rule three violation, but <laughs> which rule says don't make ugly track? Well, I mean, the thing with ugly track is if it has to be ugly, it has to be ugly. You know, this stuff was all laid when we were, you know, we were dealing with bankruptcy. Oh, you mean this morning? Um, I'm not, I'm not going to pander to you. And you're not going to let you bully me. Okay, Murfreesboro. What are these vehicles? They are Troikas. Troikas. Oh, we don't even make those anymore. That should help things quite a bit. Get more people down here. Yep. Alright, let's get out of here. I think we've, we've worked on this intersection up here so many times. 
I would be shocked if we had no problems here ever again. <laughs> Are you daring me? Well, until you bring out the 400s, I would think. Wish we could do something with this. Well, you could if you want to spend all your money. Much better. And you spend very little money to do it. Yeah, I would just... You know, this is... The take all my money tool is definitely not my first place to go for any problem in this game. You know. Alright. we got a long way to get back home, man. Get moving. Holy cow. Yeah, this map is huge. And there's just so much stuff going on. Mountain Division. Yep. Let's get another train up here. Is it 651? No, it's not. Try again. Uh, 970? Damn. We put it on the very first numbered route. Okay.
All right, look. <clears throat> I understand what you're asking. And I'm saying, yes. The bankruptcy is averted. So we buying eight trains? <laughs> hell, hell no. We are, however, going to buy... We're buying two. We, we're going to pause the name of So this is... Mountain Division number 392. You spell mountain wrong. How about that? Is that better? Yeah, that's better. All right, let's put let's put her on a route. All right, so she goes on 273. All right, and then we need one more. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Crazy. Mountain Division number three. 418. M O U C E Y K Y. Yeah, Mountain Division. Okay, she goes on 651. Mountain, if anyone in chat has a name for an engine or a train, please, <laughs> please, I'm begging you. I'm way out of names. There are over a friggin' thousand vehicles on this map, and it's it's just, it's been K134. It has just been chaos, trying to come up with names. K757. Alright, are we going on a train ride? Yes, we are. First one to come out the barn. That's Chicago. Are we gonna need more ferries? Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna need more ferries. I'm gonna buy them now. Um, and I almost don't want to buy them because I don't want to have to freaking name them. Four, five, six, seven. Got enough money? I don't think I do. Holy cow, we do. Yeah. Name them later. They need better names. We got 30 furries that could have. You have kids? You got a dog? You got anything? <laughs> yeah. I'm open for anything. All right. We stay with regular music? Yeah. We've already done this line. This is just an extra trip. Got three of these coming out of the barn. And we're gonna watch them all. Can we park them up here and get a picture? No, because the the sidings. Look at this up here. Watch. Wait till this guy gets up there, and you'll see. There's no way. How do you want to bring the other two out? <laughs> you can't. Yep. You can't. <laughs> yeah, these things are just way too big, and they'll look awesome when they're all dusty and used. All right, this one's... Come on, we just want to get that last train. 3418? Yep, that's the one sitting here. Why isn't she moving? She's got clearance. Really? Yeah, because she nudged forward and blocked the whole thing. But she still should have been able to get up to here. Yeah. But no, see, she chose to go down the exact same path. For no really good reason. three four okay the other two are pinned we are going for a ride there's all the furries wow yeah man the, the late 
Lake Michigan is way busy. That's a really good thing. Yeah, just wow. The passenger traffic's over there. something last time we were supposed to fix over here? I don't recall. I can't help you. I can't remember. I thought we were going to make it all the way, but they yanked it away from you. So our first hurdle, well, you know, once we get through the tunnel, uh, the next hurdle is going through Wausau. Wausau. W-A-U-S-A-U. Wausau. Holy cow, we have we have eight people watching right now. Thank you so much for joining in. I, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. We are on the Mississippi River hard mode. We started out today 50, almost 60 million in debt. It's just, <laughs> this is like episode eight of our of 62 where we're in bankruptcy you know the difficulty settings that we're playing at and all the rules that we've given ourselves have just i mean they're crippling at times and all it takes is just one little hiccup somewhere and the whole thing just just crashes around us we were able to get a couple of um We were able to get a couple of problems unstuck. Pat style. You know, get out of the Jeep, get your boots dirty, stand on a rock, start yelling at people. So, do we have a flag? We have a flag. Cool. Alright, so now we're going through the tunnel from the Great Lakes side of uh, Minneapolis. And, not Minneapolis, uh, Milwaukee. Yes. We're going from the Milwaukee Valley to the Central Plains region of Wisconsin, the heart of Dairyland. You just—you can see the cows all over the place. If only we had cows. You know, we do have dairy barn things. Why don't we put a dairy barn out? You know, we could do that. We could put a couple dairy barns out here, decorate up the fields and stuff. All right, we're heading into Warsaw. So we cleaned up some problems in Warsaw with the first Mountain Division train to haul iron earlier this morning. And hopefully it looks cool. Because again, you know, just because we could fix the problem, if it doesn't look cool, why do we do it, you know? We spend way too much time on this map, we want stuff to look cool. So here's Warsaw, and there's a big brick factory behind her. And that's part of our problem is getting through this junction with all the bricks. And you can see, this is, you know, this is not a, a game city here. This is a big, a big junction, a lot of traffic. That's the passenger line. These are all, all the freight lines. This is a busy place. Well, then why are you the only train here? Hey, man. Trust me. All those intersections are not there for no reason. And that's part of the problem, you know. They could all be sitting in a station, fueling up, loading up, whatever. It's when they all converge that chaos happens. And that's what we're going to worry about. Yeah, so I'm currently trying to get... Um, I need some stat. I th for the longest time, I thought it was concurrent chatters. And I was like... Wait, people have to chat on the stream? Which is difficult for me, because I'm blind. So, you know, when I'm playing the game, you know, like, I and I have, you know, out of one side, one eye have no vision, usable vision at all. And the other one, it fluctuates. So, you know, like, the idea of me looking at the game and the keyboard and then having to, like, glance over here and go, hey, 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 Tommy. Like, it's, it's, it's not... 
it's not a smooth thing to do, not because I don't want to, and not because I'm camera shy. It's not. It's just like it's a physical it's a physical movement thing. And then, you know, takes me away from the game. So like right now, you know, we're at a point where it's like, let me lean over here and put my nose on this screen and let's see what's going on over here. And then what that turns into is like I completely miss what's going on over here. So I have an assistant. They get paid in Starbucks. So as you can imagine, it's it's a crippling Starbucks bill each month. But I, I enjoy their company. Occasionally they play the same game with me. But and here comes the bad part. Ready? Screech. Yeah. That's just an ugly turn there. Why don't you fix it? Um because it works, and that's part of our thing. We don't fix, you know, working track. We fix broken track. You know, our next opportunity to really redo track is going to be when we electrify the passenger service. Welcome to the siding. Let's see if it's big enough. Oh yeah, it's big enough. I wonder why she stopped. Wait, is there not a signal down at the other end? Why did these two stop? Oh, you're you're under water by eleven million. You're not buying nothing. Damn. Yeah. Wait, what is all of this? You just jumped back. That's what you did. That's why you're you, you're back in the. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what the hell is going on here? This is this is the back end of Minneapolis. Like, why was all that there? So here's Minneapolis. She's she's growing as slowly as expected. My bet is still on Chicago. Chicago will be our first skyscraper city. There's the lake on the north side of town beautiful artwork exhibits there. You have to see it when you're in St. Minneapolis, St. Paul. You know, the uh, the old Sears building has some wonderful restaurants in the exchange. Uh, there's a family that I'm, I'm very proud to call them friends of mine. They, they own for years African restaurants. They open two of them. Wonderful food. Uh, an excellent business person. Uh, just a charm of a guy to be, uh, to have lunch with and chat with. Um, Alright, so now we had to clean some stuff up here also. We had to do a lot of cleanup to get this train up here. This was not a, not a fun trip. As you can see, we're, you know, we're like year two into this train already and we haven't even gotten to our first, you know, point of port of call. just chugging along. See this brickwork right here? I love this. I don't know how I did it. It's the only time I have ever seen the ye olde bridge. See like right here? It doesn't do it. I would love to have it over here. There's just some fluke that occurred where it gave me that bridge work going all the way down. I've never seen it again. Never seen anybody say they've seen it themselves either. It's just this weird fluke. And isn't the only, I mean, thousands of hours in this game, I've never seen it, never heard of it, I've asked other people, they've never seen it. Alright. This is, is this Rockford? Yeah. Oh, 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 no you don't. What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? See, this is why we get nowhere. Okay, you come over here. What are you doing? We 
never took that stop out. No, we didn't. Is she even carrying any logs? Oh, that's why the logs are still here. Yeah, see, we never took this out. Get that out of it. Okay, now, where is she going? She's going to... Where is she? She's, she's right here. Okay, she's going to... No, no, no. She's going to Harvard Lake. Take off. There you go. She does the loop. Back here. Yeah. And look, all the logs on the wrong side of the platform. See, that was a problem we had. The logs were still sitting over here, and I just couldn't figure out why. And it's like, well, obviously, we figured it out. All right, back on the train. Yeah, we have no space magic on any game I play. Or affectionately known as Cosmonaut Boot. Okay, so we're using this, we're piggybacking on this guy's route. to the sawmill and then we're going to branch off from there because again we reuse track you know why would we lay down new track when we can use stuff we've already got you know let's see are we are we in the hole again no we're back up in profit well that's cool and like tunnels tunnels and bridges are 100% always single track you know we, we got no choice so it's created a lot of choke points. So, you know, we, we use tunnels as little as possible. All right, we're heading for the Duluth, Minnesota Harbor Freight Yard. Uh, so wonderfully named that we tried to fill in every square. Do we see anything out there? Uh, well, that's where we're heading, the Minnesota mountains. All the way out there, all this stuff. <laughs> this is this is such a long ass trip, isn't it? Yep. Can't have Minnesota without lights. We are now on Mountain Division track. What we were on back there was Milwaukee Road track. Well, it's Milwaukee Road Mountain Division, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's still... And then right here, you're going to see a wonderful thing coming up. Something that you will hear people say, you can't do it, it doesn't work, it doesn't look good. And to them, I say, there you go, look at that piece of work. Perfect. But they don't have switches and tunnels. Yes, they do. Go and look it up. They're all over the world. You can find them in North America, South America, Asia, and Europe. Switches and tunnels. It's, it's, it's silly that you hear people say that in Transport Fever. Don't put a switch in a tunnel. First off, I don't put a tunnel anywhere. I don't know why you're so worried about a switch. I say don't put the tunnel down. Yeah, because the train in the tunnel, you can't see. You know, it doesn't look interesting. You know, do little peekaboo tunnels, do minimalist tunnels. 
Alright, what are we doing over here? Thought I just heard a click or a pop. Alright, here comes our, our choke point up here. Yeah, we dropped down into the 20s. You know, for a train line where we're, we're supposed to have huge chunks of express speeds, dropping down to 20 is, is just not. And that's on a downhill. Like it was just, we couldn't get any better. enjoy making me a cup of tea. It's uh, four regular tea bags, or, you know, when we use good tea, it's uh, two bags of uh, uh, Yorkshire Gold. All right. That's where we're heading. You can see, well, you could have seen if you'd look closely. That was the, uh, the end quickly. <laughs> you definitely had to look quickly. That's the road coming down from the mountain for the one iron one. And here we are coming up to the two Haases. And this is our switch yards. We have Haas 13 and Haas 46. So every train has its own platform. first pickup. Iron Mine number 273. I believe this side is, um, yeah, this side is 456. So we are the express to the back nine. So we're going to express past the first three stops. That's what I was supposed to get rid of. Well, we were also supposed to check for some slight adjustments in track here now that the trains are running. But, I mean, this is this is expensive track. It's all tunnels. You know, any improvements we could do back here. This is a cool song. I have the mod from the workshop. So we have nine people currently watching. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining in. I do appreciate it. Um, if you would like a train or a ship named after you, just give me a suggestion in chat. Uh, we got a lot of them. It's, it's, we've been doing a lot of expansion out here to make the Big Lake Iron Run. You know, the Big Lake Gichigumi. So from Duluth to Lake Superior, on Lake Superior, bringing it out across the Great Lakes, and then hauling it all the way back past uh, uh, past Green Bay on to Lake Michigan and then down past Chicago uh, to Gary, Indiana and the steel mills. Now currently the steel mills are making all the steel and we're not hauling it anywhere. But I mean we don't care. We're not in the business of you know, we don't own the steel mine, steel mills. We're just delivering to transport company. You know, so eventually we're going to have to come back around and start delivering that steel to, to machine parts factories and to goods factories. Doom. song very much to me as a sci-fi vibe like you're watching something like 
70s or 80s sci-fi movie. The scenery is beautiful back here. You, know, you, you really get the vibe of being... Well, the train loop. So this is a loop. So the loop is the front nine and the back nine. Now, granted, there's only six stops, and it's three and three, but is this our stop? Yes, it is. Do we clear? Um, hold on, hold on. Pause the game. No, we're paused. Okay, we just need to know if we clear to let the other trains go through. I don't know how we're going to see that, because we can't see the train. Yeah, we can't see the train. Can we? Can we see it up here? No. Damn it. Maybe the caboose is right here? Is the caboose? No, she's back there. Is that... Do we know if that's the clearance? Uh, I think it is, because that would be where the other track opens. We're going to call it and say she's clear. Because I don't really have a better way to tell. Alright, we're loaded up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, this is going to be a problem on every route. We forgot to do this. Are we going to leave her sitting here waiting? These things are too expensive to let them fly with them. You know, all these lines are not going to put out. Check your line. Yeah, she only comes here. Okay, well, they're going to have to wait here. We're going to have to do that to all of them. Yeah, this song is definitely... So, James T. Kirk, when he, or Admiral Kirk, when he wrote these songs, he, uh, he definitely was having flashbacks as a kid. Of being a kid in the mall in the 70s or 80s. these all to, to get a full load. So what's going to happen with the others? Well, I think what's going to happen is we're not getting enough pull out of the uh, out of the Duluth Yard, the Duluth Harbor, and if it's stockpiling, then this thing's not going to spit out as much. Ooh, yeah, that'll be ugly. gonna ride this all the way in well I mean first off we want to make sure that we stay to the right here see if from this point on we're an express to the harbor so the way the tracks are configured is um, like over there on the right is the front nine once they make their stops at their three they're express all the way okay so why didn't you just single track this all the way down I thought about it Here's the problem. The trains are too big. And given the length of the trains and their power-up uh, issues. Yeah. Yeah, it was just, it was going to be too much. So for the mountain division, we just, we let it go. They're just, they're two separate lines of service. The front nine and the back nine. 
and they still have hot spots where they slow to a crawl. And that's just ugly. And if they were, you know, once there's multiple trains on here, you know, if they jam each other up, you know, it's like they say on the New Jersey Turnpike and on the Audubon. You know, when you tap your brakes, somebody a kilometer behind you has to come to a full stop. You know. This is such a huge expand of territory up here we're driving around. Hmm. And here's what it looks like. It's all this. Coming over here to the harbor. Just to get these ships full. And see, these things should be insta filled. But they're not. This one leave empty. Yeah, she got filled. So, you know, we need these trains. Like right here, 22. Why is she so slow? Well, I mean, we could have modified the platforms, you know, so that this, you know, so that this this train on the on the express side, you know, was on a, a whole separate track system. Um, but you know, that's just. Um, You know, we could still do it. This was just, this was the, the first swag at this. It was a very complex project. I didn't know how many trains we were going to have. I mean, you know, we started out with eight mines. Uh, now we got seven. Six on the train route and one being serviced by trucks. So, you know, I was looking at eight different iron mines, trying to figure out how to bring them all down to a single point. You know, it's... Uh, See, if right now we decide, hey, you know what, make the Express a single track and then only pull off for the train that has to go to the station and then bring it back on later. Uh, we can do that. We can do it very easily. But it also means that every time a train pulls off, the route you can see it better there you know every time a train pulls off it's going to slow down the entire system all right we're coming up to the hosses signal house four six all right let's see how much money we made off this run Take a bets and chat if you want to toss out a number. Now's your chance. But that's this puppy right here. First time she's made money in five years. I'm going to say three mil. Any bets? Price is right rules. 3.211. Alright, let's see where the other one is. She's on our way to her mine. Cool. And you can see she's on the front nine. First time we had a train over here. third train if she's on the back nine and the back nine's complete well we can buy the other two good view of 
superior from here? The big lake Kichikimi. Alright. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you're having a fun uh, Thursday evening, heading into the weekend. So, the other series that I'm currently streaming is Blind Guy Plays Rust. We have a, uh, we have a brand new Rust server. Uh, it's taken me a couple of weeks to set it up, but it's geared towards PvP and PvE players. Uh, and of course, I'm actively recruiting for uh, retired, uh, disabled, and veteran players. Uh, you know, so it's meant to be. All right, we're here for a pickup. Let's see what our loading penalty is. Not that we care, because we're here to load. Forty percent. Uh, yeah, half speed. She's got a lot sticking out there. Yeah, but does she clear? No, she. Uh... All right, when she pulls out, we have to. We can actually fix her right now. That'll it'll just bump this up. Track. Six. Yeah, that really messes up a train boy when you play around with it by the switches. All right, we're still waiting to fill. 210. We got a ways to go. And it looks like she's actually full. She's heading into into the Haas. Oh, you know what? We might be one ahead of her. She might be catching up to us right now. That would be pretty pretty cool. Make sure we do a passing on the passing lane. But it'll depend upon if this is actually the right spot. Let's see if it is. She's, is she moving? She's moving. Alright. No, she's still loading. We might be able to catch up to her. Let's see if it's at this tunnel. Let's see if we can catch up to her and pass her. Then that will absolutely be his intent. That was the uh, the input line, you know, to feed the system. She's still loading. So with, I think we have five running right now. We have four, four or five. Yep, four or five running. Once we get all six running, then we're gonna have to figure out how many, how many of the ferry ships we need. 
I mean, we're limited to how many we can have on the river. I mean, they, we've already seen them where they're stuck together and glued. That's it's kind of hysterical. This I've seen. Now that junction there was to let the uh, anything new coming in that had to go to the four, five, six, the back nine. Yeah, we didn't do the detailing because we went into, you know, panic mode about being 50, 60 million dollars in the red. Where are we at right now? We're up 22. Ooh, we could buy the other train. Um, which line does not have a train? Let's find out. Five, six and 970 both are missing trains well you don't have really enough to buy another train here we go okay so this is mountain division number three seven seven eight okay Three seven seven eight. You go to nine fifty six. All right, nine fifty six. Let's bring this one up because we're gonna want to watch it after we see how much money these puppies bring in. Look at that. We're passing. Working perfect. Okay, we'll get the numbers on these two, and then we'll jump over and check the new one and ride her out here just to see how she's doing. I mean, we know it's going to be fine, but it's still, it's a fun trip. You know, you spend all this time sitting here with this track making these little, you know, micro changes over and over again because you want it as level as possible or as little slope as possible because it does affect the performance and the profitability. All right, there's the path coming down from the mountain for the trucks. As soon as we come out of this tunnel, we'll be at the Haas's. Now we're going to be over here at Haas 13. There she is, Haas 13. All right, how much should we be making on this? We should be making about the same 3.2 mil. Yeah, but these get picked up over here. So as the bird flies, as the crow flies, they have a much shorter distance. All right, so let's say two mil. Oh man, I hope not. Two mil, holy crap. These, these lines are not profitable. figure out how do we bring the front nine back home quicker well, let's see how much this one's making she's got a way to go um, this one is not profitable okay go back to the Here's the front nine. The front nine leaves here. Heads up. They're on the right side. Here's their first stop. Yeah, 
Can we send her back? No. Because it's just, there's no room. Alright, what about the next stop? The Peekaboo Tunnel. Enjoy the view of the lake as you drive by. Okay, here's stop two on the front line. Send these back. Um, how? Yeah. And sending them back, how is it any quicker? Than Let's say you put a loop right here. Okay, they come over here, they come down, and they get back over here. It's not that much shorter. Are you sure? I'm just saying, you're cutting it close. Alright, here's the hosses. Let's see how much this one's making. We're making funny. We're making funny. We're making money on the ferries. All right. Let's say this is another two mil. Three mil. Three point nine. Well, that's because this is the very back of the back of the front nine. I hope they're. I mean, this one's almost here. I just have one more to buy after this. And then we can... You know, we can... I mean, we can always make a change. Yeah, I mean, if we take the entire system and put it onto one line... just going to have to let it bake in and run for a couple years and check the numbers once we actually have, you know, a thing going. And okay, we're heading to the back side of this. Okay, welcome to the back side of Minneapolis. train from up here go into Chippewa Falls to the line cool line Google's brewery or distillery no it's a brewery yeah this song sounds like Christmas time this song sounds like Christmas time don't you agree with me So I got I got two music mods going. One adds all of Transport Fever music, and the other one adds all of the Mission music. So we've got a ton of songs on. But with maps this big, I mean, you've listened to the song so much. 
Where's that bridge? Yes, the whole purpose of that bridge was so that the passenger line tracks didn't touch the freight tracks. We've got stuff like that going on everywhere on the map. Their passenger tracks cannot tr touch freight tracks. We keep them completely independent systems. And when we up, when when electrical track comes into play, that's like our priority electrify the entire system not that we're going to have every train electrified just that we got to spend the money the sawmill and then hang a left and then after that we're on the mountain division big iron circle track yeah do we have enough money yet no we're back in the hole dirt and a build up a dirt over here. Dairy land, lakes and hills as far as the eye can see. You know, we've been doing 80 kilometers this entire time. I mean, <laughs> you know, the distance that we're traveling is just, just insane. And this, we're not hauling any cargo. This is a pure 100% deadhead run that's taken up four or five years of game time. And we're not making a penny from it just to get this train out of here. I mean, the Milwaukee Mountain Division didn't have train yards all over the place. You know, granted, we do have a separate, you know, train depots for, you know, each of the different lines. You know, like the Louisville and Nashville has its own. Um, you know, the, the Gulf Coast line has its own. Missouri Pacific over there in St. Louis has its own. There's that beautiful junction. Okay, we are now in Mountain Division. We're on um, we're on the, the front nine. Let's see if we stay here. Yeah, we should. Thank you very much, everybody, that's tuned in. You know, we started out this... We ended the last episode, you know, trying not to declare bankruptcy. Instead, we've, you know, we've been able to, you know, fix a couple of busted junctions. Been able to turn things around. You know, here we are. We added four more trains on this route. We upgraded two or three, at least two, might have been three. 
you know, trains while we were trying to clear up the log jams that were going on because we're just so micro-focused up here. You know, this is like day five of working on the steel mill. This is all just to bring iron and coal into the steel mills in Gary, Indiana. You know, steel mills, this is probably, actually, it's like day six or seven. Because we started out with the, uh, trying to get the, uh, yeah, the titles of the videos were like, Rochester City, or Rochester, or Rockford, Illinois, Town Council votes on a, on a tunnel. You know, we were trying to figure out how to get the coal mine down coal from the coal mines down and that was several episodes then we did the dredging because we were planning out these see these trains initially and all the way up until a few days ago the, the there were eight iron mines they were supposed to have eight train routes that all blew all the way across Illinois you know Minnesota Illinois down to Gary uh, direct you know and then the, 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 the tactic kind of came up about well hey why don't we take them to Green Bay you know which which then leads to the question is there a big port in Minnesota yeah Duluth oh well what do they haul out of Duluth well, they're major. It's one of the largest. It's a. It's like larger, largest or larger ports, ports in the U.S. And it, it freaking it hauls iron. I was like, oh man, how do we? How can we get away with not taking the iron down to Duluth? And here you go. This massive train station and harbor was built. Okay, look, 648. We're building up. Okay. Oh, do we have any money? <laughs> no, we don't. I wonder if there's somebody broke. Oh, man, come on. What are you clowns doing down here? Sawmill and where it is. Okay. How long's this guy been fighting this? Crap, right, man. What are you doing? This guy is. Okay. And Betty. She's been running for 50 years. What could be wrong with her right now? Well, you better hope it's not money because you can't afford to fix it. Is Aunt Betty moving? No, she's not. This is way too long to go without a signal. down here, but what are you doing in here? National Tool and Dime Works. What are you doing down here? Come on, show me what you got. Nashville Tool and Die Works. Murphy's Bro. So you should come down here. Go to Murphy's Bro. Make a U-turn and get the hell out of here. She doesn't have a way to make a U-turn in her. Damn it, man. That's some serious BS. Yeah, you're gonna 
have to put that in here somewhere. Um, well, that's for another day. Can't do it now. Wait, wait, wait. Is she loading? Yeah, she's here to load. Same as the others. Yeah. Not blocking. Sure, this isn't the same train. No, it's not. Different train, different stop. Anybody wants a ship named after you? Give me his name suggestion in the chat. I would welcome the opportunity. As it is right now, we have 10 more ships in name. And I don't want any of them to miss anything. XXI, all the way up to Miss Anna, Triple X. See, this is because we're not getting the stuff hauled out of the harbor quick enough. So all the mines, they're not they're not letting us transport. We would need another ten ferries. Driving Working as intended. <sighs> yeah, the mine is just fighting, giving us the order. See, this is the other side of the coin that most people don't experience because they don't play to optimize at a, you know, hard, very hard level. And what they, what they presume in, in great error is that, oh, well, if I want to make more money, I'll just send another train over there haul more iron. It doesn't work that way. First off, there's a limit on how much the the node station can pump out. You know, if it's been upgraded and it's 400 stone, that's all you get. See? See how we were on the bypass track? The express? That's that's working as intended. That's what we want. We want the front nine and the back nine to be on their express tracks. Unless, you know, they have a pickup. There we 
car and passing a train waiting to load. We still can't buy the other one. I know, this is, and we're back in the red again. It's like, like, what did we do? Like, we fixed a couple problems, but not enough. We just need to see how much money this thing's making. You know, we're going to have to let these, we get, well, first off, we got to get enough money to buy number six. Right, and you don't have all six of them. Yeah, that's the point.
Holy cow. Holy cow's right, man. You got us all the way almost back to bankruptcy again. Well, I mean, yeah, you, you we're worse off than where we started. <laughs> it is. Uh, yeah, but we have five really expensive trains to show for it. Uh, okay. And then we've got those intersections. Let's, let's get out from up here. Find, find some problems. Let's see. She's got a balance. She's up. Alright. We got four trains here. track may drove up What are you gonna do? Well, we need to keep going. Why is she jammed up? Santa Murphy's bro. Again? Yeah. yeah bro. This these junctions are just they are freaking choking. This guy stuck. Waiting for clearance. This guy has not cleared his port.
What are we gonna do? We got no money. We're gonna have to. I mean, if we had money, we can move this up. Alright, do the editing. One, two, three, four in the caboose. intersection gonna get not like you're not even you know steel isn't even coming through here you know let alone the steel itself to make the machine parts and the, uh, and the goods or the goods then being hauled out to all the cities in the area there's a there's a lot more traffic to come through here uh, holy cow. yeah all goods every city That's what's going to happen. You know, it's going to take a couple years for this to cycle around them. I don't know what to tell you. How about, sorry, I screwed up. Something, something like that. Ugh. Hey, everybody, we're going bankrupt, but look at the cool intersection that we built earlier today. I like the way this turned out. Yeah, this is... That's cool. That's cool. Try not to ruin the company. Look. Here's part of the problem. The ticket revenue is still outrageously high. Yeah, that's a, that's a What's our headquarters level? 198. We're, we're still in the year. 1900. All right, say hello to Murfreesboro. And a load of bricks. Next stop, Nashville to deliver a load of bricks. Yeah, so without those how much more, I mean, how much more are you going to let that intersection break the game? We've made concessions.
struggling here. And we shouldn't be. Can you get us out of bankruptcy before the end of this series? The end of the series? Yeah. No, how about the end of this episode? Well, I mean, we should. I don't know, man. It's a long time. And we've already been at this now for... Three hours and three minutes. How much longer are we going to torture ourselves with this before we take a break? Hey, I mean, what do you want me to take? Well, how about you took us back out of bankruptcy? You started this episode in bankruptcy. You've so far spent a hundred million on trains for the iron mine runs up at the Big Lake Circle Iron. That was that's needed. You bought ten more ferry ships. We probably need more. And you've set up train stations and done some pretty major tractor models. Hey, I don't know what to tell you. We gotta fix it. Okay, what are you waiting for? Man, you're something wrong with the signals. You should not have been waiting. As I said, I'm really enjoying the way these are looking. You know, it's just a little bit of a bottom out, a bridge, delete the bridge, put it back down with the trestle track if it's a trestle bridge, and you end up with a really nice little, just a nice little bridge. Yeah, he's, he's right. I mean, we're down to 48 from 60. You know, we're getting there. Yeah, but now we're heading to the forest to pick up. So we gotta leave. That looks, that just looks so nice. That turned out really cool looking.
you think so? Um.
Boom.
next. Not enough to buy that last train. Are you serious? Yeah. Well. Alright, let's buy it. further. That was Johnsonville. There's Milwaukee. Then Jeff Milwaukee Tool Company. Number three six four four. That's number six. So once she gets to work, we'll have one of these on each of the lines.
Okay, once we go through here, we leave the middle walk came back. And then we were in the Wisconsin Valley. And then off to Warsaw. Warsaw. W E U S A U. Warsaw. every week. I was watching TV as a kid. On 60 minutes, they advertised every week. Wausau Patrol Trails. That can't seriously be the freight line. Holy crap, this thing is single on this whole way. How did we not know this? Is there a train in the tunnel? Yes, it is. going all that time without putting a junction there, I mean, that side in there. Yeah, it's been quite a while. All right, let's go through our checklist. Get out of bankruptcy. Yeah, we did that. All right, what else? Pay off the loan. Uh, 
Um, we're supposed to buy the five more trains for this line. We did that. Okay, what was... Was there another thing we were supposed to do? this junction for previous pictures. Okay, use it again. more fires. Oh. Are there more fires on that line? I think there's 25. There's 30. Is there gaps? Can we add more? Well, I mean, there's... There's 1,400 on the pier, and there's no one here. Jam things up here. It's getting close. Why is this guy not clear? That one's got to go back around. As soon as her caboose clears up here. There you go. Here comes that ugly turn. Let's see if we can clean it up. That's a lot nicer. Is jarring on speed either. All right, is there anything else we want to do? Um, I mean, I'm, 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 I can't believe we got ourselves back at the back of seeing again. You know, we were 50, 60 mil on the home. I mean, that just shows how how close we're playing and how much our our play style and you know we're playing on a very hard difficulty. You know, on top of all the you know the rules that we've imposed on ourselves. Do we want to start decorating the stations up here? That's an interesting prospect. 
Yeah, but I think station detailing is like a whole day. I mean, we have a lot of stations we could be fixing. You know, if we just go back to them. Well, let's pick something else. This is a cool song. Anything we need to fix on this line? I mean... Let's go back down to the first stop. What do you do to make this place look, you know, like a coal mine? Ramps. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't. Everything's about getting stuff out. Push this down some. Like right there, like that. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, right like that. I. Does that push out over the track now? Time it does. See what that was doing up here. But I'm glad it worked out. Alright, let's try it again. the train. You, um, I mean, are you doing this all the way up the platform? No, no, we're not. Okay. Beaters. What is the, yeah, the building looks just becomes too modern for me. And if I was to be doing this, I'd want you know you know, something like that.
This is not a good thing for a blind guy to be doing. I'll tell you that right now. This is like there's no click, there's no snap. It's just 100% free form. What you do? Oh crap. Getting over to that one. What is the other part? It's a feeder end. that falling down. I was gonna say is that our train but she's got a war on her. fastidious for a blind guy, aren't you? Well, I mean, if I can see it, if I can see that it's messed up, it's definitely messed up. I mean, that's all I'm saying. That's okay. Save. Isn't that several like once in a while? I mean, if it's gonna click over now, it's gonna click over. All right, I hear you. Anybody has any name suggestions? We got a lot of things to name. Boss it out. I'll, tell, I'll take any names. Make it funny. Tell me what it's from. You know, a kid, a dog, a neighbor's dog. I think you lined up right there. inside the building. We could bring it up here like this. Yeah, 
Yeah, but that's not gonna work. Try the end piece first. Do what? Just end like that. Okay. Now what is that getting you? What's getting these three weird buildings? That's, that's all it's really got us. It's three weird buildings. We're doing some cranes. Tell me what crane has to do with ore. this. Is this her first trip? Yes, it is. See, she finally got here. 970 something? Yep, 970. Okay, well, she's going to go on her first run. Alright, let's see how she does. Oops, that's going to make it. 4.1. Keep this one open. Gonna do exactly the same as the others. What are you watching for? Because we're curious, that's why. Alright. Many of these in. 
loses its oompa. You can put him in on one side over here if you want. bringing in the money. She's still an 80 in the tunnel. As she should. Yep, I hear you. Alright, what else can we put on this? cities here that we're probably going to take care of with trucks, plus any plant cities that we build here. So I would bring in a root depot then. Which building is that? Um, this one, the warehouse then. Really? Yeah, let me put one of those in here. City new street lanes. Let me get the bigger one. With walls and decorative assets. And I go like with this. I put this right on the platform. I mean it'll get station catch, right? Dude, what the hell did you just do? Damn it. Does that line up? No, it's it's crooked. You can see that. All right, just just get be more careful. Okay, I'm gonna, hang on, I'm gonna get you. Stop yelling. Is that a road on the side? No, it's just it's like a graphical thing. See, you need room for the turnaround. Oh, crap, yeah. No, I need routes or anything to bring in. There's a little city development over there. You do an overpass. Um, what does that have to do with Festoon in the station? I mean, I, I'm kind of out of ideas and I want, to, I want to fill in around it. You're out of ideas? We have six more to do. Sir, I am out of ideas. That's all. You know it's number three. Alright. 
propeller collision. There you go. All right. That lock. That was cool. Not unbelievable. Ooh, not bad as that lock. It's not bad at all. She's waiting for something. What the hell is she waiting for? Is she waiting to load? This is this nine seventy. This is nine seventy. Did we just catch her at the last second? 970. Oh, you should hit. This is the one with no catch me. No, I, I thought we. Nope. Nope. It's not. There's. That was the only one with no catch me. And we said we would fix it, but we had no money. Where's the old thing? She's back here. That does not look good. Yeah, we need... Did that get you catch me? We do our decorating, this will clean up quite a bit. So, do you think anything's gonna come on here? Yeah, I think it will. No, it's gonna make you wait. That it is. Well, you know what? Get back to the main stage. Because that's the one that has to look cool. 
Here's our truck assets. City streets. Spell water wrong. Uh, it's late. Does it never stay on the thing we pick? Does this look newer or this one? Yeah, there is. It's just started to fill up. Alright, well, we just gotta watch it. Give it time to bake it. Yeah, I've heard that expression around here before. Where does this go? Um, that's how it climbs. In? Find silos. Yeah, this screams corn, not not uh, ores. How about this? Nope. And this. Yeah, these. We need like ore piles. That's what we'd be here. Try again, like, on the holes of war. Try again. Pile. Well, let's go. Rock. Alright, what is this? Mixed rocks. Granite. Cracked rocks. Size. And this is. This is just fill the ground with them. You see, that's the problem with this. Is it supposed to look like just the rocks are, you know, and a big old pile? What does this look like if you paint it that way? A 
Are we just making a big train station here? Without any regard to what we're bringing in? You know, if you could find those frames, that would be cool. I don't know. I'm sort of at a loss. I mean, you know, it's not... Okay, that doesn't fit in 1900, though. I'll fence the place in. I mean, we could certainly... I figure out how to put a pile in here. I'll certainly use this stuff here. Check any boxes. I mean, just let the town fill in. I we can. I know we got those hoppers. There's a thing that doesn't show up until 1910, 1900s. No, it doesn't show up until, like, 1990. Yeah. Well, that doesn't help us now, does it? No, no, it doesn't. There's nothing under building construction. It's cargo buildings. That rail building, too. Yeah, that's sort of a staple. R A. What is this? I don't put a crane in. For what purpose? To look craney. Get bigger. Just put the little one in. You want a second one down here? Hey, can't hurt. Let's try. Alright, we wanted the uh, 
the rail administration tunnel. How'd that go? We never got there. We got distracted. Excavator. Is that it? No, there's a metal beam building. Sheds? No, I'm going to look under barn or family or something for that. What the hell's this? That's that goofy concert thing. They look cool from this side. Okay, what is this? Roba. Roba? What is Roba? Prefab pieces of a building. Don't we have, like, anything that's, uh... run out. Really? That's what you're thinking? That is most definitely what I'm thinking. What if we run the, uh, the channel thing down into here? Try that angle thing again. That one's always staring us in the face. Yeah, here's the problem. Its angle is way too hard. And like, there's no settings on it, so it's. Thing. Very 
cut and dry. point sort of you're either you know 100% off or it's just crap well if you're a little bit high then it should be okay yeah because then the stuff will just tumble over yeah trouble. You're going to get yourself higher than the platform up there. Now, we can't change this angle. To the to the building and its feeders. I run it in that one. How do you want to do this? Well, I would say. Thank you. 
the end beats. Let's charge that up. Can we do something like that? We'll push that up a little bit. Okay. Is this it for the night? I think this is it. The stream's gone on way, way too long. Well, are you having a good time? I'd have a better time if people in chat were giving me name suggestions. I really need them on my I'm out of them in the present. That is so, uh, so screwed up to me. shouldn't be that hard to do. We just gotta get this lined up here. And bring it under the relief end. good. Okay, now we need like some stilts or something over here. Well, why don't you go to that uh, Van Stilton sign open off? We will never find that again. Well, what did we search for? Here? Pipe? This is not how we store um, stone. Stone's just stored in big old piles. And I can't believe we don't have a rock pile on here. But I know it is a little. I 
think we were in this, weren't we? Yeah, one of these was a whole bunch of different pieces and parts. This is like an amusement park back or something. city thing. Definitely could be in this. There we go. Yeah. Find some vertical there. Probably stands for like shaft tower or something. About one that touches that thing. Oh shit, the angle on that is crappy, isn't it? Watch up over here and give me one that actually touches the thing it's supposed to be supporting. Oh my god, you are so bad at that. Who assigns a blind guy to do this sort of crap? What is this? Joke hour? Of course they're all gonna be messed up. They don't, they don't have to. If you just put down one, and that's it's full bar. Oh, is that the German word for woke up? No, it's just. Is that how you fool up a rebar? It's full work. I'm just saying. This is messed up. So, yeah. Good luck finding that stuff again. And run it into the building. Alright. That's, that's good luck finding it. waiting to load. Okay. Feeder. Long feeder. Okay. Now, if you come across at that level,
Hour. Well, <laughs> excuse me, let me give me one more. You pull it out of the building. And I will do the bike thing. down to the pier. Get that money done. Well, we're taking it straight into the building. It's, it's just funny how you freaking think these things are hooked up. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's funny. You know? You're getting closer. Is that what you want me to do? You want me to just like put down six of them? Then we'll just we'll find the one that connects the best. And that's what we'll go with. Uh, I mean that's not actually necessarily a bad idea. This is not the Smothered Brothers comedy hour. And that is not close enough. None of this stuff is in any way accurate for Warhammer. I mean, literally what we're running here is a ventilation duct work. Yeah, well, it's all we have. Before you go into this, I'm going into the roof of the building.
Okay. Now, what do you want to do? We want to bring it in. Put an end on it. My God, brother! I guess we're gonna have to feed it into the building. When's the last time you looked at your baked-in train? Uh, I've been watching it. It's up there in the corner. It was loading. some kind of support legs. You know, I wouldn't kill you for picking them. suggestions here please <laughs> I'm if you got a suggestion on this I would love to hear it it is I am just working with the stuff that we got boy and it's it is uh, all right let's try this bring this down let's see if you can line up those support pieces How's that gonna look? Holy crap, it looks like it's resting on it. Holy cow. Dude, you spent an hour. You spent two hours on this. 
did they just spend two hours on just this one train station? Well, you know, there's no, there's nothing in the game to make it look anywhere like a conveyor belt system thing. You know, so. I mean, I, the station's got to look busy. It's a freaking. You got six trains coming in here, carrying just vast amounts of ore. I mean, you see how much of it is down here. And the ships are pulling it out of here. We were up to like 1,200. So the ships are definitely doing their job. How's the line doing financially? It's on its busy day. Well, I guess it's supposed to be a little bit. No. Is it having a problem unloading? Because we're certainly not having a problem loading. This is just, <laughs> this is just crazy. I know, and I'm willing to buy five or ten more right now. Because, how much is on the ground? Nine, there's a thousand on the ground here. stuff. Go find me the cargo one. Cars, commerce. Cargo stuff. Yeah. Cargo. What is this even called, this category? It's called Mad better as they, as they turn to this. Yeah, they'll definitely look like they're working trains here. Alright, what else? It's, it's uh, gotta be, it's under cargo. Try, try it more. What is this? Industrial buildings. Goods. What the hell is this? None of these are like small enough to put on the tracks. It's not buying. I'm not buying. 
combine it to Siren 3. What's this thing? What does this look like? And it's got doors in it. Is it platform wide? Yes, it is. Okay. iron buildings, whatever that means. Well, there's some random building from the uh, iron pit. Well, they're now part of our train station. the, I don't know what the picture is supposed to look like, you know, what are we doing here? I don't know, I don't know. Between, we got 10 people watching. First off, thank you. I cannot, I cannot thank you enough. I do, I do greatly appreciate you giving up your time and, you know. And it's tough. I mean, first off, you could have been saying something this whole time. And I would have missed it on the screen. That, I apologize. Okay, but what have you managed to do here for them? They came here to see some awesome super detailing and other stuff going on. What did you, what did you give them? Uh, I did definitely not give them their money's worth. And they came here for free. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Well, I mean, okay. You started out today in bankruptcy. Holy shit, you're down 20 mil again. I, I just... I freaking said it just as a historical fact. Not for us to be back in the hole. Oh, crap. What are you doing? Our ticket revenue, 125 that is a new high for us. Yeah, we have never gotten that high in train road. That is outstanding. Yeah, but we can't afford swings like this. I mean, we just, we can't live in this. And this is a net loss. Well... I mean, I've just been putting in detailing, which I believe is free with no maintenance. I don't believe any of this stuff would cost anything. If it does, I'd be shocked. And a little pissed. Yeah, more than a lot pissed. Hey, give me one of those buildings down here. Iron. that no, it made me like this maybe we should spin it sideways oh you already built it damn it yeah and it's not symmetrical in any way What was your goal here? Did you have a plan? Yes, yes I did. The plan tonight was get out of bankruptcy. Well, you're kind of failing at that. Don't, don't say that. Yeah, you're failing it. You know, that is not a good 
you know, like even that, like that just seems overplayed to me. Like, and the wah 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 thing. There you go. Look, we're in. We're in. We got numbers. We don't have a loan. We got negative numbers. Look, man, I I cannot. We got it. I thought we were up to like 50, 60 mil. Go see who's broke. And this is all we've been doing. You seriously are breaking the new bridge already? Look, this guy comes from where? How does he get here? And break shit. Like seriously. How did this guy... Where is this? Where are we? Murphy's bro. Okay. This is freight. This is the single, comes across the bridge, and eventually comes up here and turns into a double. Okay. Why is he sitting here? Because he put a signal in a bad place. And that allows him to jack things up in here. trouble to clean all this up. So signaling. Yeah, we did. So this guy's gummed up. Because he's gummed up, nobody can get up here. Of shit going on here. Yep, and if you throw a signal down, it might break it. Are you serious? That's two way track? siding coming over. Is that a siding or an exit? Okay, what's going on in here? It's this fucker again. What the hell's this clown doing in here? We did something and this shit had it screwing up back here. Jack Daniels Nashville. Okay. 
Lynchburg. Back here. Okay. Nashville. That's all she's supposed to do is pick up and go to Nashville. Okay. Then she comes back and she's got to get over here. She needs a line from here down. to not come through here again. There it is. Okay, give me a signal to get her the hell off this track and to get her down here and stop. Okay, now. What is what is shit that works in there? These those weird hopper cars. Yeah, we've never seen any more of them since. It was supposed to be like a whole stack of different hopper cars from the workshop, and we've just we've never seen any more since. Well, <laughs> she's here. She can't go forward because this guy's jacked up. Where is she trying to go? She's trying to go this way. Okay. We're going to have to fix this. Yes, we are. Okay, what is this? This is the exit train. Okay, then this should be the train going that way. somebody going that way? From where? I don't know who this is, but they're on this track. signal there. Yes, we do. Oh, shit, man. Come on. 
you were at plus two. Yeah, now you're at negative eight. Suck it up. You gotta figure out how to fix it. There's just, there's too much traffic. Like, why can this guy not get up here? Someone's broke here. This one's trying to leave. go down that far. We'll fix this. What kind of train is this? She's carrying food to Dyersburg. Yeah. See, all this traffic is mixing in with the actual a bypass track here. Yeah, and then you single track it. Okay, then why doesn't this guy move up? Wait, who's... Where does there need to be free track? It's free all the way up to here. Where does she want to go? That's not this train. Okay, where does she want to go? Okay, let's find this train. Here she is, Browns Farms. Oh, this clap, we just fixed this thing up. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. With the depot and send it to, oh, no, no, oh, yeah, I'm, so I am, I'm, I have a whole list of rules that I'm playing on to make this as um, very hard as possible. And one of them is, um, uh, well, first off, all these lines are needed. Matter of fact, if I had the chance right now, I'd pick up 12 more trains. <laughs> just, just for the craziness of it. Oh my goodness. Um, but we're single track everywhere. And it's every time we, we get an upgrade or a new uh, um, or a new city gets connected, it just continues to jam up in random various places. And because the map is is just so huge, you know, I've been playing the game in a counterclockwise or anti-clockwise rotation. Um, and it just takes days to come all the way around the map to get to everywhere. So like, here's where the problem is right now. Um, and this is where the very first episode started down here at the quarry, uh, hauling up here to the Huntsville brick fat brickworks up to here. And from just a single line of track, it is this, this is a wonderful game. It is it is a wonderful game. You can you can have fun with it. Um, you can and then you can really get to a point where you sink your teeth into it. And um, I play it. I, I don't label it very hard because there is an actual game setting called very hard. So I've got the sliders and stuff turned up. Uh, and then I do stuff like um, trains when they pull into a station can flip upside down to back out. Um, I have that turned off with a mod from the workshop. So that means that when a train goes to a station, um, as an example, it can't just pull in and pull out. It's got to loop in. And it's just like that alone right there means that every train takes longer. Uh, which means its costs are more and its revenue is less for any given period of time. And it's it's just... Uh, it is... Um, you, you know, you gotta... A, a guy said it, uh, you know, about the way I play these games a while back. It was, you know, you gotta be wired to want to play them this way. Um, you know, like as an example, um, freight trains can't have bridges. 
uh, I will do a freight yard overpass uh, if the ground lets me do it. Um, there's no need. There's no reason for that. It's just it adds to the complexity of what I'm trying to struggle with. Um, it it's <laughs> it's like as an example. Um, like here you go. Here's the tunnel. So from Huntsville, there's a tunnel into this valley um, that then has another tunnel right here that takes you into Memphis and Dyersburg and down to the Mississippi. Um, tunnels can only be, and I have never made an exception for it, tunnels can only be single track. So when you look at this, you go, well, there's two train tracks here. Yes, but this one is freight and this one's passenger. And passenger and freight lines are always kept separate. So there's no way for this freight train to get over here to the passenger line. And there's no way for the passengers or the freight train to screw each other up. So um, this just adds to my cost. <laughs> Because it's, you know, um, the freight trains could just be sitting here struggling. And um, there's this passenger line sitting there empty. <laughs> they cannot use it. Matter of fact, I... Uh... <laughs> here, here you go. What? Check this out. <laughs> I have codified the rules that this series plays under and it is um, yeah I, I try and I, I try to make it as complicated as possible um, and I built the map that's that's sort of the bad part about this thing is that I like I'm over here trying to because the map is just so huge um, you know the, the whole concept of like let me come over here and look at something um, and I haven't been here in a week <laughs> and I come down here to try and fix a problem and you know it's like where the hell is this train like who built this <laughs> it's just uh because it's not built for, you know, um, like I'm looking at this guy right here. And it's like, this is Brown's farm. We just worked on this earlier. Like, why is it stuck here? Um, and it's got a clear path, but something is jacking up on its signal and it is not getting out of here. And the answer will probably be up fixed up here. Because what happens is I also go around and I'll try and clear stuff. And, you know, you just get... And this kills me every time I have to do this. Because... Come on. That did not free her up. Why is she still sitting back here? Does she not have a signal out of here? Where is she trying to go? She's got plenty of signal clearance. Where does she want to go? Also, here's another thing that contributes to the problem. The current map size is at uh, um, three quarters of a gig. It is, um, you know, so saves and backups are are not pleasant, pleasant things. Come on, what are you waiting for? Is there someone coming in down here? 
where she is. The hell. Alright, we're waiting for her. Well, she can wait. We gotta get this. We gotta get her out of here. She's got plenty of room to sit down here. That's part of the other problem. You know, this is a 178. The, um, the newer trains are, um, uh, not the newest ones, but like, you know, here's a, here's a 203. Um, and the latest, they're the, the most recent trains, um, that I started putting in. I, I know, I just saw it in the window before I closed it. She's... Where is Duluth? Um, okay, we're jacking up the factory now, the warehouse down here. We got 7,000 iron sitting down here on delivery. I don't think we're gonna need a few more drops. Not enough money. Well, that'll that'll prevent fixing that problem. But Duluth just because we got to get back to Huntsville to fix that. Um, let's find one of these. I mean, here you go. She's three hundred. And I put a caboose on every freight train just to add to the cost to buy it, the cost to um, maintain it, and it increases the weight and the length of the train. So every time, uh, you know, you take a chance of crossing a switch, you have a chance that the caboose is just going to jack things up. Other than that, it serves no other purpose, but it looks cool. And again, it's a freight train. They have to have a caboose. You know. Well, up until the 80s. <laughs> oh. I'm having a lot of fun with this. This is the third series that I've done like this. Uh, the first one got to, uh, got to uh, 60,000 people. As a population on the map, um, the next one got to seventy-two thousand. But yeah, this is this is like three days of just connecting all these iron stations uh, for all the iron in Minnesota and bringing it down here to the port in Duluth, so that it can go on these ferries across the Great Lakes 110 at a time and I think we're up to we're up to 40 on this line how many are on this line 40 yeah and they're just I mean they're getting close but they're not they need more the problem then becomes, you know, like I'm looking at this gap right here and thinking, oh, I could put two or three, two or three more could fit in there. And another one here, um, two or three. Um, you're not going to, you're not going to see this. This, 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 this is definitely pushing. Um, but that's the fun of it, <laughs> you know. Um, we really should put a navigation buoy out here to let them come down a little straighter. But there's a big gap in here. So, I mean, there's plenty of space on the Great Lakes between, you know, Gitchigumi and down here on, on Lake Michigan. Um, And we need more trucks on here. 
Here's the beauty of this game, which is always amazes me that, that people forget this. I don't know if you noticed, but there's a huge stockpile of iron over here in the ware <laughs> in the warehouse. Uh, that is a lot of iron. 7,300 units of it. Um, I mean, they were picked up from the iron mines, taken to the train station in Duluth, and we got paid. And then they got put onto a ship, which hauled it from Duluth down here to Gary, Indiana, and we got paid for that. And then, um, you see, we could put a lot more ships in here. So then from the, the port here, they're stockpiled in this warehouse, just sitting here. And as they get picked up, um, you know, they'll get transported down here to this other steel mill. And once they get dropped off here, you know, here comes the truck. She's carrying six loads of iron. There we go, $9,000. And now this steel mill, which has 20,000 units of coal sitting in it, just got nine loads of, like, here you go. Like 976 is the coal number. And you'll see that when that comes in, there you go. See, it just burned through it <laughs> because it has a chance to make steel. Okay, that's great. The steel mill made steel. We don't care <laughs> because we don't own the steel mill. This is just a transport game. The steel mill is making steel if we want to, which, which we do, but we don't have to. We don't have to take the steel anywhere it's just you know we're just slamming it with coal as a matter of fact this coal that's coming in that's just one train uh let's find her where is she at she's on the mountain division <laughs> oh i'm sorry it's three trains yeah here she comes so she's heading back up to gary empty um I did not plan this. Um, this is the quaint little Illinois town of Rockford. <laughs> it was, it did not have this major freight train line running through it a few days ago. <laughs> there's, there's an episode in the series titled Rockford Town Council votes, <laughs> votes on whether to allow a tunnel or not. Well, apparently the town council voted not to have a tunnel. So all of their streets were ripped up for a railroad right away and now they have these things barreling through them around the clock it's just it's it's uh it's what you got to do and now there's a helix coming up to climb up to the coal mine and the, the train station where the coal is, is actually feeding, it's fed by two coal mines. One has trucks bringing it over. Um, it's just too high, we, can't, we, we, we couldn't climb up there. But you know, here's the Chicago land, Milwaukee Valley. You know, and we're spiraling up just to get ourselves enough elevation up to there to get up to the coal mine. And because we're in the helix, this one is stuck. She can't go because it's one way track. Um, and then where's, yeah, it's this, this whole coal mine up here can easily handle five, six, seven trains. And these are all three hundreds. Um, but the track here is single track. I could double this up. It would cost maybe, uh, maybe a hundred thousand dollars. It would be change, and there would be a double track helix going up and down. And we don't do that because until that caboose goes by, she can't move. And it just it adds to the. 
I have trouble with the truck cargo depots. I try to make one way in, one way out, but the trucks do this weird loop before they get loaded. Oh, actually, that's very easy. I can, I can show that to you in two seconds if you'd like. Um, let's find... Um, let's take this. So when you go to build a truck depot, uh, so you select uh, streets, and then you go to buildings, and you get cargo. And you take just the vanilla truck station. Uh, when you go to put it down, as soon as I get some cash, I'll stop the clock for a second. Uh, there you go. Okay, so when you go to put it down, if you build it this way with platforms on the left and the right, you're going to have to figure out which way stuff's coming in and going. And, and you can do it that way. Um, but what's... If you want to just do one-way traffic, then what you can't, what I find is easier is to do this. And then, or sorry, one to the left. There you go. So now the trucks come in and they're gonna come in here, hit this platform. So the driver is on the left and the cargo is on the right. Kind of like if the truck pulled up to the street in front of your house, if you, didn't live in the UK or Australia or Japan. You know, it would just pull right up into here to your house. Now, to get out, it will then loop right out. But what happens is, um, yeah, I don't have anything here to, oh wait, this is a, this is a forest. I can, I can actually set the route up. Let me do that. Um, two seconds, we'll slap down a quick street and then I need a sawmill. Sawmills out there. Okay, I'll use the forest back here. It's a shorter distance. Because if there's not an actual route, the um, uh, the game won't send anything. So we're gonna want to go here, down here. Let's get over to the sawmill, to the forest. There we go. All right, so we're connected. And here's going to be our destination or delivery stop, because you need to have that for the route to work. OK, so this is, it has catchment. Now, this pickup point, if we do, if we do this, and go into configure. We actually could do it with the with the regular two-way stop if you wanted to. But streets. Okay, so from the sawmill, we're picking up and we're dropping off from the forest, we're picking up and dropping at the forest. Okay, this is this is this is a loop. This is actually not a bad loop, but it's not it's not maybe you know visually. So what we do is we go we get rid of this street and we go into configure and we get rid of this and we make it an exit only. And then we hook this back up to the street. By the way, you see before I hook it up, there is nothing broken. Because as soon as I took this out, the game recalculated that way. Still, that's not a bad loop. It's just not, you know, it's not a, you know, something exciting. So then if we run this to here, now we recalculate. And there you go. We pull in, pick up, and go out. And where this can get really, you know, interesting in stuff that you build is if we do this. See, now we're broke because this is a one way out. And it, even though this is a in and out, it, it, it can only go out. It's bro the, so the, the station's broke. But we can go in and do this under configuration. And this gets pretty, pretty cool because we can take the cargo Do 
our street access in and put the street back up. Look, our route's working. There's our route. And as you get bigger vehicles, you can stretch this out to not only hold more cargo, but to make the bigger vehicles look cool. And then if you expand this, so let's say you have like a city stop or something with multiple stops, you can, um, you can change this up again. And with your cargo stops, you can let's change that line and we can send her over to track to platform two and she still pulls in and goes out and then to make it again just you know because you can keep playing with it to get it looking interesting we can put this here bring the street in and get rid of this no error look at the route see she comes into the platform that's sort of the if you just go through one platform once you can really make them look cool and the other thing you know that, that you have an option with which a lot of people don't do so like we can t if we try and take this out you see how it's going to rip the entire platform there's just because it's that's what it wants to do it sees this aisle as the whole platform and so you kind of want to play with the roads especially when you get to uh you know the modern era of semis uh, you know, you want to make sure you have enough distance in here so they look cool. Otherwise, they they just, again, you know, it's aesthetics, but, um, you know, you don't want a semi that comes in and makes a 90 and a 90. You can, you can play around a bit, just let it flow better. But with a train station, you have um, a better option. You can actually... So as an example, so here's a, here's a four track train station. Uh, I have one that actually does it built in, this one. So uh, here, actually, let's go to Indiana, uh, Cincinnati. Let's go to Cincinnati. Uh, da, 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 we need the Ohio River. All right, Mississippi River, Ohio River, Cincinnati. Here we go. Okay, so here's the Cincinnati station. This track over here, track one and track two over here, they don't go all the way through. The other tracks all go through all the way through. So you can build a train platform where they don't have to connect all the way through. And that gives you a lot of options, especially for things like train stations, uh, passenger trains, where like here's, you know, here's a regular, uh, let me see if I can borrow up to get this. Yeah, I can. Okay, so you put down a regular train station here and unlike the platforms for passenger you know the, the truck platforms we can come in here and we could delete this right here so if you look at the platform under terminals you'll see that we have four platforms plus the buildings that give us storage and wait here you go yeah see there you go the game also gives you the numbers so you see where they are if we just come in here and just make a simple change. And delete that. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, we've added two more platforms for traffic. 
Oh, wow. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, see, with just this, you've now given yourself two more platforms so that traffic can come in from the bottom of the screen, hit two or four, and then pull right back out. You can have people waiting or cargo waiting because you can do it for both passengers and cargo. I appreciate the follow. I really do. Thank you. It's, uh, um, I'm doing this for, <laughs> I'm doing this because I love the game and streaming it really lets me, uh, not play it as much or as in depth because I, I actually, I stop at some points, <laughs> some points in the day. Um, so I, thank you. And again, if you have a question on something, just ask, I, 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 I mean, I'm happy to pass on this, the, uh, you know, this was hard learned from, um, you know, just people who were well intended, but like they didn't have a real good, you know, example like this right here. You might look at this and go, well, why would I ever want this? If you're using anywhere, like if you're in 1960, 1970 or forward, you have multi-car trains that have cockpits on both ends. And there, a lot of them are very small. Um, so you don't need a, a huge long, like here's something you would almost, you would never build, but it's in the game. Um, let's see, passenger stations, eight, three twenty. you know, you're never going to get a passenger train that big. You're just not. So why would you build a, you know, a station that big? Because with just a couple of simple edits, you can change it into this and now you have you know um and by the way this this is cheaper to operate than this thing but it has the same number of platforms and it just all depends upon how you want your trains to come in and out um one of the things that people um like to do is um you could assign like your smaller city commuters to these four inner platforms. And then what you do is out here on the outside before they get in, um, you, know, you have a track that feeds them and branches over and then do the same thing out. And this allows you to have um, you know, routing to the tracks. So if, if there's, if there's a demand, um, uh, you know, and there's a, a platform that's blocked, they can hop over to the other platform and you can really get creative with the stuff that you make. It's, it's, uh, that's really the reason that I have rules for a lot of the stuff I do is because, um, I don't want each station to look the same. You know, it's it's uh, it's too easy to do, and it becomes a little. Um, I don't want to say monotonous. It's just, you know, Cincinnati here is the only city that looks like this. You know, she's just. I mean, that's sort of the cool. Like, here's a truck station right here. You know, with the buildings, the platforms, the crane is an item on the workshop. I, I, I don't know why, but I feel compelled to put one and all of them because it's just, it, you know, you, you're, you're on a truck or a train coming up to the city to watch what's going on here. And now you got this thing and it just, you know, it, it greatly adds to the, uh, you know, to the, the visual appeal of what's going on here. And it's a transport game, you know? I mean, you don't ever have to look at this stuff. But then if that's the case, go play Open TTD. You know, it's a it, it has a better engine underneath it, but it doesn't have a better graphic system, you know? Uh, that's why people play Factorio and some play Satisfactory. It's a... Uh, 
there's a horse wagon and a buggy there. That is that is just the example of how big this map is and how much I've you know I've keeping myself around here. I have not been back in Cincinnati since like 19 or 18 uh, 1880. So none of the vehicles have been updated. Um, and that's kind of messed up. I have on previous saves or you know the last two series that I did. Uh, I've gone in and just done mass replace like hey we have a new engine great upgrade every engine to that and um what i found was it took away a bit of the fun you know of coming down here and you know pulling up to cincinnati and going hey this is one of the five major cities on my map uh why are they still using horses stagecoaches from the 1850s or 1870s it's like well that's because i never upgraded anything Who's coming in here? So we got 70 people coming in. And we should pull out of here with 70. All right, we made 585,000. And are we leaving anybody on the platform? I see, what train is this? She's gone to, oh, this is the Cincinnati line. Yeah. So, who's left on the platform? She cleared the platform. Now that one coming in is Louisville. Does she have anybody on the platform anymore? Louisville, 14. Yeah, but there's 130 wanting to go to Indianapolis. And this train, she's here also. Yeah, she's not going to clear the platform. So I could buy, we could buy another train right now to throw down here. Except the problem is there is zero penalty to us for leaving people on the platform. You know, it's it, city skylines, very different story. You know, um, Workers and Resources Soviet Republic, very different story. You'll have people defecting, you know, or getting old and dying. And you'll have people just not working. You know, at least down here where, you know, again, this is transport. It's, it's not a city builder. This is all one-way track along here. I think it's cool. I love the graphics engine in the game. You know, the, 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 the uh, it's a fun distraction. I have a problem in Minnesota. <laughs> I'm distracted coming down here looking at this thing. Because I haven't been here for, I don't know, two weeks? Matter of fact, I built this line, and then we completely moved it um, over to the side because I I totally didn't even realize there was a quicker or a better route. And it's a much, I mean, we're maintaining full speed here. We're doing, I mean, we're not doing 85, but we're getting darn, yeah, there you are, we are at 85. You know, it's, is that guy jacked up? What is he waiting for? No, he's waiting for this one to come down. They're moving. You know, double track is way cheaper than the headache this costs. <laughs> but, you know, I've done double track. Um, where are we going? We're going to the Greenwood Quarry. Yeah, these two bridges are passenger bridges going into Indianapolis. 
just so the passenger trains don't cross over the freight line. And down there we have um, um, I don't know who that I I I, I built this map. This I do not remember. I do not know what city that is. Um, I mean, that's Indianapolis. So... And this is Greenwood up here. I, I cannot remember what city it is. I give up. I'll have to go look. Alright. Who is this? Terre Haute. <laughs> this is... How the hell did I not remember that? There's, there's, well, there's a hundred cities on the map. And there's, a to there's another... Countless number of smaller ones that are waiting to be put back from the main map that one I started to the one that I'm playing on um, that aren't going to pop up until after World War One, and then there's another chunk of cities that will pop up after World War Two. So like this station is because the trains don't flip. I don't have anybody using track one and track two. Uh, but I, I use these platforms so that when we hit the modern era with subways, wow, this is, how many people are waiting here? 87. Yeah, that's, that might be time to fix things on this bus line. Uh, manage vehicles. Nope. Yeah, let's get some money so I can spend it. Alright, there we go. That should be enough. Let's try and fix the bus runs. Uh, Terre Haute 1. Manage vehicles. These are American stagecoaches. I think, I think we can do better. Passenger service. So the Landau's are 6 and the Max are 9. The Droshkis are 5. All right, so we're going from sixes to nines. All right, so 35s with 104 frequency. Um, I hit the wrong button. No, we're auto saving. Ah. Buy them twice. All right. So we should see a definite change in the numbers. Let's grab bus route two. Max. And we should also see. people here at the stop to start to go down quite a bit. We are, however, going to need more of these. Not enough. Conveniently. Just, just after I hit the button. Manage vehicles. Clone them. There we go. Alright. That'll bleed off those people. And do we have any other hot spots in town? Back here. 55. Why is no one on Route 2? 30, 55. Oh, Route 2 comes over to here. Yeah, the town never... I laid out the route in the streets to encourage development, but there's been no need for it, so nothing's moved over here yet. Which means this line is literally, probably, is not carrying anybody. Yeah, total, total. Yeah, that is not a success formula right there. 
but it's here for future development, so... Um, there's not really a follow-up to that. That's just, that's just an admission of... The road overpass looks cool. So... So, you know, I mean, town could develop out that way. It's, it's, I mean, we can, there are things we can do to, to tweak it, but, you know, it's, uh, um, and we only have four. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to conclude this with the word squirrel and get back to work. Uh, let me clean out that factory because if I don't, this will. I'll come across this later and I won't remember why it's even here. Yeah, I need money to operate the bulldozer. Did I take out a loan? Yeah, I did. I gotta pay that back too. Yeah, it, it's uh, you know the 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 campaigns. Uh, one of them actually walks through setting up single and double track. And it it uh, it talks about you know finding a midway point on a route and putting in a siding, and it's um, it's a really good you know not well. I mean it's not hammered into you by any means, but uh, you know they 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 kind of present it to you and say look, you know it's a transport game. You know, just why do you, you know, why would you have track everywhere that you're not using? You know, it costs you money to operate it. And that's sort of the problem. Well, not a problem. It's, a, it's something that happens with. So in most games, as you play them, they get harder. Transport Fever, the start is the hardest. After that, it's really, if you're playing on you know regular difficulty you know the easy or normal that ah, damn it um in just a few years time you have a billion dollars in the bank and then at that point i mean you know you're playing why are you playing with cost you know it, it's just easier just to turn the cost off you have too much money in the bank. You're never going to spend it. I mean, it's nice to see it as a number. Um, I have tried to tweak everything and like with the no flip and the rules around it and stuff to make it so that, you know, here we are 50 years in. Um, You know, my company size is 205. Company source 205. You know, that's a massive company size. It's, um, but we're still we're still hovering on bankruptcy here. You know, well, this isn't bankruptcy. I mean, we've don't delete the track. There we go. Okay. You know, it's it's um, it is a chaotic way to play. But, you know, after you've beaten it a few times on different levels and you decide to, you know, turn up the heat, there's a lot you could do. Have a great day, sir. Have a great day. Yeah, it is. All right, let's try and. Are we safe up here? Can we? You are six and a half. You're almost seven hours into this. This is this is not what I. I I started out this morning not expecting to have to come on here, and uh, this morning's stream ended with, okay, the midnight train will have to fix this. Uh, that's why we're here. 
because it was things were really bad this morning. <laughs> you know, push to the point of because if the series fails, I don't I don't retrack anything. You know, I don't I don't. I don't, pull, you know, we don't sit here and go, all right, everybody, let's pull up episode 50 from two weeks ago and start over. You know, we don't, we don't get to do that. It's, uh, if we crash and burn, we're crashing and burning. That's also why I'm constantly very concerned about loans. Because if you have that, you know, couple of million dollars as a loan available, that could literally mean the difference between you know, your game is over uh, or you can make it up through another day because the um, company score went up a point just while we were standing. The, there we go. Let's get out of this. There we go. Um, all it might take is a switch or a signal or you know just a little shunting piece of track to clear one train out of the way and you can recover from a problem that you that you have now with planes you don't have that you know um, and with cars they're just driving on the road you know but if you if you and you can play this game without trains at all uh, without trains, it's, it can be just as exciting, you know. Um, there's a Steam achievement for doing it with just trains. Um, I mean, that can be interesting. You know, it will limit your city growth because, you know, your catchment area will only go so far. Um, so, you know, where it can be quite a challenge is with trains only is you know like if you want to build a larger city you're going to have you know a two or three train stop loop for freight deliveries why why are we over here did she just pick up she picked up okay why did we go this way certainly did not want her to go that way. She's got a signal to go off. Um, we can put the signal back here. And get rid of that one. So that she continues forward. Yeah, little tweaks are needed all throughout this. Seven five seven. Which is up here. Yeah. See she didn't hop off. So whatever we Hmm. That is weird that she went that way. Sure, the express lines stay express. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what time is it? It's tomorrow. That's what time it is. <laughs> That's not a good answer. That is certainly not a good answer. It's a uh,
it's like you know that's not a that's not a good answer either is it uh, let's find a clock don't you have a watch yeah I do it's apparently in sleep mode it's 440 in the morning yeah but did you fix your problem oh yeah we definitely fixed our problem well that's what counts we are back on a good footing you had a hundred million dollars in about two days ago well yeah yeah we did but we got money in the bank we're profitable and our ticket revenue I mean 133 we pushed it today to 125 we even went down to 133 I mean that's a huge ticket revenue yeah especially also are we clear oh well, we're clear on the difficulty that we're playing um, we make less per ticket revenue um, just to add to the craziness of things yeah that is just it is, it is a little insane but I mean we're starting out to you know we started today with the concept of okay so we got to get out of bankruptcy we got to pay back the loan we got to try and buy the other five trains for our, which is going to cost a hundred million dollars um, and then we got to buy more ships <laughs> it's just so I mean that's a that's a pretty that's why we've been here for, for seven hours all right it's seven hours we're out of here Everybody have a good night. Thank you so much for the chat. But yeah, we are out of here. What are we doing next? I don't know, but we're not going to spend seven hours here tomorrow. <laughs> that's that's just crazy. Yeah, yeah, it is. Let's not be here for tomorrow for seven hours. <laughs>